Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch hand co-host, Colin S. This episode is going to be our part one for the Avengers 60th set review, the commons, uncommons, and rares. This is episode 464. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks now. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like 100? Is the deadpan humor? Over oh, they, six uh, people humor. think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. You absolute fools. Zimmy will be able to edit that out, I'm sure. That's cool because it's expensive. I'm going to make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, that's D-I-A-L-5, for 5% off your Cool Stuff Inc. order. And if you're getting stuff from the shop.wizkids.com, straight up WizKids' website for Hero Clicks, all your Hero Clicks needs, except Iconics and whatnot, you can use code DIALH10 for 10% off your order there. Joining me, like always, in the studio is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Yo. That's and me. once again on this on an episode, we have Ian Eggleston. What's going on, Ian? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've never been on the podcast this consistently. It, it feels weird. And, <laughs> but it's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, and here we are. So let's go ahead and jump into, real quick, what made us happy this week before we get into our very long set review. Simeon, what made you happy this week? Uh, what made me happy this week was uh, my boss was like, you know what, you've been working hard, you've been working hard. Am I going to give you a ra- No, no. I'm not going to give you a raise. <laughs> Don't say the R word. Don't say the R word. <laughs> I'm going to take you out to eat. You're going to get a nice meal. So I, I ate... Uh, I Burger ate... King. No. <laughs> uh, it's a barbecue place out in western Omaha called Porky Butts. Ooh. They've won some uh, awards for their barbecue. They go to like different competitions across... like. The United States, I guess. Uh, they get their beef from, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. It's like Snake River Farms or something. But apparently wow, it's like the best so place to get beef from. And I was like, all right. It was good, though. I got a half rack of ribs. The sides are actually good. Most sides at like a barbecue joint. Not super impressive. Wait, is the R word ribs? The it's rays. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're ever gonna give him yeah. a raise. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't but say they did ribs. Give him ribs. That's, yeah. that's, that's an R word. No, it wasn't a pizza party, which is what I normally receive instead oh. of a raise. Uh, but no, it was great food. Um, mostly good company, and they had Mr. Pib on Fountain, which mm. delicious. Yeah, it's very solid. Ian, what made you happy this week? Ah, uh, this week. I went in and interviewed for a position at the Residence Inn downtown, which is a very cool hotel. I found out that that is where Warren Buffett has all of his meetings every year. They do a, they do a Berkshire Hathaway week okay. there. Yeah. And so originally, Tickets to that are like a hundred bucks or more. I can't dude, remember. It's crazy. Like, um, you know, they were telling me about like the revenue that that brought in and I was yeah. just like, what? But, uh, yeah, I found that out, and so they're like, yeah, we would have loved to talk with you last week, but, uh, yeah, it was Berkshire Hathaway week, and so I asked them, I'm like, what is that? Because they, ju- they, they said were like, it in a way... Oh, he doesn't know <laughs> Berkshire Hathaway week. Are you not <laughs> from Yikes. around here? <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with the guy, but it's like, right. that could be anything. You know, it's like, is it a parade? I don't know. Yeah. So they, they kept saying it to me, though, in a way where it's like, you don't, you know, like, you don't know? But, anyway, you know, they clarified it. It was funny. Guy. Yeah. But, yes, that was cool. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited. It's, it seems like a really cool place to be. I like the downtown area of Omaha a lot. So There's so many good places to eat down there, too. Yeah, dude, it's it's crazy. And parking, actually, like, isn't too bad. No, I thought it'd be surprisingly worse, so. okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what made me happy, kind of getting the inside okay. on there and, you know, moving up in the world in yeah, Omaha. Yeah, some Warren Buffett-esque trading. Yeah, you know the, me. The hotel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cutthroat business. You'll accidentally no bump into him one day, and he'll be like, oh, I'm... Oh, I've never been so taken back by a tall, <laughs> handsome stranger. Would you run away with me, Ian Eggleston? <laughs> no. Because if I did, I'd be compromising myself. Oh I can't gosh. do that, Warren. Good lord. And then he breaks but, down on his But knees. Ian, I have so much money, please. <laughs> I can't. We'll have to continue this conversation. Wow. Some In- incredible. Uh, so, what made me happy this week? I'll, I'll start off with what made me 
very angry this week because what made me happy is on the reverse side of it. Uh, but I read two DC comic books, so this is probably the <laughs> first time I've read a DC comic in a while. Uh, that's not even true. I read literally just bought an issue of Peacemaker this last week. They started a new series, which is really good. Um, and then I read Dark Knights of Steel, which was horrible. It is a garbage DC comic. If you like it, then you probably have garbage taste in comics. Uh, the same trope happens like four or five times. This is always my least favorite thing in any form of storytelling, where it's like, oh, X person isn't really X person, even though they thought they were X person. They're actually Y person. I bet you didn't see that why? coming. <laughs> yeah, why? why? And why? sometimes they say X person is actually Y person. Ha ha, just kidding. They're Z person. And it's like, what is what is this storytelling? Who cares? I, I like knights. I like medieval stuff. I thought it was going to be that. It wasn't that. And it ruined so many parts of like DC stuff that I was like, I was going to be interested in seeing Batman as a knight person. Not as a, spoiler alert, half Kryptonian. Like, that's not Batman to me. That's lame. Um, so that was really lame. But then I read Jurassic League, where on the flip side, also a ridiculous story, but because it wasn't trying to take itself seriously or say it was anything whatever, you could have a fun time and enjoy the ridiculousness of the story. Yeah, I want to see Bat Dinosaur, Bat Sor guy suplex the Joker dinosaur. That's awesome. I want to see the Green Lantern, uh, Green Torch suplex Atrocitus Sor. Uh, there's a scene where uh, Super Sor punches someone into the atmosphere, f- goes up there, punches them back down to Earth. As very, you do. Yeah. Very JoJo Part 2-esque uh, thing kind of happening, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Creating an asteroid that... Yeah, that yeah. kills all the dinosaurs. <laughs> but yeah, it was actually like a really fun book. And some of the dinosaur designs for the supervillains and the superheroes... We're just really fun. It didn't say like, oh yeah, here's the reason why dinosaurs are superheroes. Like, I don't, we don't care about any of that. We don't need to explain any of that. They just need to look cool. They need to do cool stuff. They need to have cool like things. So like when there's still humans in this prehistoric world and there's also dinosaurs, they're just giant friggin' superheroes and supervillains running around when there's also just tiny people. And it's awesome. And it's very action packed and it was super enjoyable. So it was one like terrible, terrible DC comic. And then like, one super fun, enjoyable DC story that I was like, this is like Pacific Rim if it was like a comedy. You know, it's just like yeah. a bunch of dumb, giant things fighting each other. And it's awesome because it knows what it is and it doesn't take itself seriously and try to be anything it's not. Yeah, so I enjoyed Pacific that. Rim. Pacific Rim 2 did that, I would say, but uh, not one. I was not a huge fan of either of those movies, but that's aside the point. Sounds like you're a Charlie Day hater. That's why yeah. you're not. I'm not. Pacific. Sounds like someone never <laughs> no, saw Atlantic no, Rim. <laughs> Atlantic Rim is like oh, Power Rangers yikes. meets Pacific <laughs> Rim. They're all color coded. El Nino is coming back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, that's. Is that Pacific? That's Pacific yeah, Rim, that's I think. Pacific yeah. Rim. Well, yeah. screw me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm but, dumb. All right, guys. Let's, One more thing. Okay. One more thing. Sorry, we finished the Avengers 60th sketch oh yeah oh yeah that was really awesome yeah. that was today that was a couple hours ago actually yeah. so um yeah be on your toes for that it's um it's ambitious so i would be say ready so. yeah yes but all right avengers 60th an insane amount has been spoiled thanks to the scott porter unboxings thanks to the scott porter versus the warehouse sealed event last friday on may 5th so let's go ahead and jump into all this crazy cool Avengers 60th. And by all of it, I mean the commons, uncommons, and the rares. So the stuff you'll see the most in Sealed. Who wants to kick us off? This is our first time doing a three-way set review. This will be very interesting. Who wants to start? We just go eat yeah. this. I'll talk, about, yeah. I'll talk okay. about Black Panther. And then if you guys want to add anything, feel free to. Uh, pretty standard. Charge, blades, outwit. We've seen it a million times on Black Panther. Leap Climb, Stealth Traded, a little Super Sense's willpower on the defense. When Black Panther uses willpower and succeeds, you may also remove an action token from a friendly character with a shared keyword within four squares. So kind of like an enhanced leadership. And then he has that in his whole dial as well. So he can be played at 60 or 35. Really, this is a a very run-of-the-mill Black Panther. I like the lower line. Um, I think it's pretty nice. Like Sidestep, Precision Strike, CCE is a great power set. It plays like Black Panther. You know, it's very simple. I don't think there's a ton to comment on. I think that this is just another solid rendition of Black Panther. 
I don't, yeah, we're in the commons, and so, like, there's not going to be a ton to really talk about, but, yeah, he, he does have the Avengers team ability, which means maybe oh, a 12, true. maybe an 11 if you play him at 35. I think at 60, like, it's a pretty good sealed pull, just because yeah. having double target charge blades, and then you can have outwit top dial, or you can have a really cheap close attack or bottom dial. But, yeah, not a whole lot going on. We, we already saw this guy, too, so it's, you know... Yeah. But, uh, I think, um... I mean, I think it's good. It does everything Black Panther normally does. And then, you know, a little flair on the willpower ability. So, it's cool in my book. I like it. Yeah. Next up, part of the Hydra 4, we have the Bowman. This is a common that puts in some work in Sealed after uh, playing in a lot of Sealed. So, he's got Hydra TA, he's got 6 range, 2 targets, he's 40 points. Hydra Assassin, Martial Artist, and Soldier Keywords. Improved targeting characters. Bowman here has the Hydra 4 trait. When a friendly character with the Hydra team ability is KO'd, you modify Bowman's damage value by plus one until the end of your next turn. Pretty simple piece, though. He's just running shot, pen sigh, 11 for three, top dial. He goes on to some leap climb, combat reflexes, and then RCE late dial. He will be a 12 for four on one click, which is not nothing. But for 40 points, a little two target pen sigh will shoot through characters. It's pretty solid. The Hydra team ability is also solid to help other ranged people. Not really much else to say, but it's a neat character, and I'm glad the Hydra 4 are made in Hero Clicks, because that makes your Hydra teams a little more diverse. It makes them kind of cool, I think. But yeah, that's, that's basically Bowman. He's pretty simple. He's, he's an auto-play in Sealed, 100%. Like, oh, yeah. If you pull him, you are always playing him. And yeah, if you pull another Hydra person, they manage to KO somebody. Him getting a plus one damage, like, if he's an 11 for 4 with penetrating oh, damage, yeah. that's... I mean, that's really nasty and sealed. Yeah. 40 points. Like, you got plenty more to work with. I think, yeah, with the Hydra team ability, improved targeting through characters is the best improved targeting you can have with that team ability. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you can, like, sense, you can stay yeah. clumped up and take shots. All right. Number 003 in the set. It's Monica Chang. Real name, Monica Chang. Uh, she's got the shield team ability. She's got three range, one lightning bolt. Comes in at a nifty little 25 points for five whole clicks. Uh, so she's got the shield keyword, the scientist keyword, and the spy keyword. She actually has a trait and a special damage power. So her first three clicks are stealth with some toughness and then that special damage power. And then she moves on for her last two clicks. She gets sidestep and combat reflexes. Two damage the whole dial. She's really not your main attacker or even a backup attacker, but she, what she's there for is shield TA, and then she has that special damage power that is painting targets. When a friendly character with the shield keyword attacks one or more characters, Monica Chang hit this turn. Modify their attack plus one, so she gives you a little boost there. And then her trait is head of the AI division. When establishing theme teams, you may choose a friendly character with the robot keyword to gain the shield keyword. This game, the chosen character has the shield TA. So, a little bit of chi keyword cheating. Um, not a whole lot of like craziness to be done with that, but definitely some interesting little themes that could be had. And yeah, I think twenty-five point shield in uh, sealed is pretty solid. Plus one range is not something to overlook too often. But oh yeah, yeah, you're probably never triggering that damage power. At least she's not. It's gonna be really yeah. tricky. She's got a 10 attack and no moving attack, really. But if she's really. just taking an action to shield buff your guys, yeah. That, yeah, that's stealth yeah. shot. I mean, 25 points for 5 clicks of life. Stealth toughness. It's kind of tough. Not to even bad tie-up. Yeah, yeah, not a pretty good tie-up. Next up, the Hydra Agent. 15 points, 4 range, single target. Hydra Soldier Spy. Uh, he is 7-10, 2 with running shot ESD down the whole dial. His 3-click dial. And he has 2 more shall take its place. When Hydra Agent is KO'd after resolutions, you may heal one click on up to two friendly characters that have Hydra TA. So, I mean, that's kind of neat. Um, it's not as cool as the, the Hydra Agents that we got the in the last The pulse wave you get, yeah. 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 And if I'm not mistaken, this trait that he has, like, two more shall take its place, is that not kind of like what Red Skull did? Where he could make, like, two more? something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, um, if one died, you could put two, two on more, their last yeah. click. Yes, that is exactly yeah. what, yeah, what Red Skull... I don't know if it was named that, but it was an, essentially that. It, it was, was like, similar ability, if he yeah. masterminded to somebody, it was, like, one of maybe the specific character from that set, yeah. So, because, yeah, I remember people saying, it's like, yeah, get, like, 20 of these guys for Red Skull, and it's like, okay. But, yeah, I mean, overall... uh 
not particularly great and sealed. Like, you know, you'd probably play him if you have the points. You're not seeking it out. And comparatively, pretty lackluster to the ones that we just got. So, I mean, this, yeah. this one's kind of a bummer for me. He's point filler yeah. and tie up, but at the end of the day, you need enhancement to really make him even pop off. Because a 10 for 2 won't get through most of like the, the rares and other stuff that you'll see. All right, next up is the Winter Soldier. James here, El Bucky, is a team player. He's got five range. He's 50 points, one target. Avengers, Hydra, Thunderbolts, Assassin, Pass, Soldier, and Spy. He has a trait called Always at His Side. If Winter Soldier is adjacent to a friendly character named Captain America, he can use Energy Shield Deflection. If Winter, and Slash Slash. If Winter Soldier is adjacent to a friendly character named Falcon, he can use Combat Reflexes. So if you have both on the same team, then Bucky has like both powers if he's adjacent to both of these guys, which is really cool. So I like that thematicness of working with Falcon and working with Cap. And then he's a 6-speed running shot, 11 attack, RCE with 3 damage top dial. His damage instantly drops to a 2, but he keeps RCE for three, his first 3 clicks and CCE sidestep and precision strike on his last 3 clicks. And he has toughness his entire dial. So for 50 points, potentially always a 19 or 18 defense at close or range. He's pretty solid. And in Sealed, there are a few different characters named Captain America. And then there's at least one Falcon in the rare slot, which we'll get to, that you can use with this Bucky. But being a 12 for 4, running shot, team player, and Sealed is really, really solid. And I think for casual, he's just an all right piece to build with that fits that thematicness with a Captain America and Sam Wilson team. I'd house rule it that if he's next to Falcon Cap, he gets both. <laughs> Ooh, there you Love go. It. That'd be kind of funny. I also really like that he has the Thunderbolts keyword. I like that oh, we're yeah. seeing Thunderbolts more often. That was always one of my... I'm sure I'm not alone in this. Always one of my favorites to run back in the day. So They're a cool team. Yeah, he's a, he's a solid sealed play. All right. And speaking of one of those Captain Americas, we have number 006 in the set. He is Steve Rogers' life model decoy yeah. is his real name. Yeah. Uh, so he has the shield team ability. He has the shield keyword, robot, and soldier keywords. Three range, one lightning bolt. He's only 30 points, but yet again, a 30-point figure with five clicks of life. So starts out with three clicks of charge and a special defense power for his first three clicks. That is defend, energy shield, deflection, and toughness. And then he goes on to some flurry, combat reflexes, and shape change on his last two clicks. Um, for 30 points, yeah. This he's got shield, he's got shield team ability. Points, man. You can pick up a terrain object, so you're an 11 for 4 with that charge. You know, you can just use him as a shield team boost. Uh, he's a 20 at range. Yeah. yeah. That's a little Dang. Nuts. Yeah, he's a 20 at range for 30 points. What's funny is uh, the previous character that I talked about, 003, uh, she makes a robot shield, but this guy's already a robot that already is shield. Robot. So. Already shield. Man, they did it. They finally <laughs> made a generic Captain America. Now I'm going to have to go broke buying every single one of these to yeah, feel you'll have an to get insane like amount of these. 100. I need a ton. I, need a ton I, I haven't read a ton. Like I used to read a lot of the old Nick Fury comics with like the life model oh, decoys, yeah. like the old spy style where like the pages would twist and stuff. I've never seen a Steve Rogers LMD. Oh, there was a, that there like was a newer What was thing? the reasoning for it? What was he... They were going to, uh, if Captain America ever like died or something, they were just going to replace him with an LMD. Like how they do oh, a ton of the time oh, seal. Yeah. So Cap finds this out and he actually like destroys almost all of these and like beats them all up. It's really funny. It's one of those comics where it's like, oh, look at that. The cover is Captain America fighting Captain America. Who's the apo It's an LMD. Yeah. You know, like that's like, <laughs> that's the whole bit. Um, it but it's pretty did. fun. Yeah, he's he's really solid. He's the stout, shield TA yeah. too, like he's incredible at range. And if they come like a, to attack you, mm. he's an eleven for three to crack back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely love this guy. If I'm pulling him, I'd say like ninety nine percent chance I'm playing him. Uh, up next, the zero zero seven Black Widow, uh, Avengers TA four range double target fifty points. Avengers Champions. That's okay. a, it's a keyword we haven't seen in a minute. Throwback shield and spy keywords. And then intercept their communications for a trait. For all characters with this trait, when an opposing character within range and line of fire uses perplex or outwit, after resolutions, you may roll a d6. Four through six, deal that opposing character one damage. Oh, wow. so, like a, kind of like Faust. Yeah, a little like bit. a, Doesn't a shut off common the version of Faust. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But she starts off, she has stealth, uh, only six movement, but 11 attack, in cap, 18 defense with combat reflexes, and three damage outwit. She then goes on to charge 
But what's crazy is her last two clicks, she's a five click dial. She only has four movement with yeah. charge. Yeah, two squares. Little exploit to cap Starting things to off. Which at that point, that. your range is higher than like how many, like, well, your range is always your technically range is higher double than. Double your charge range. But yeah, <laughs> this is like, we're finally getting into the territory where that's going to be fairly common. But she can you know, low speeds. close, though, guys. I that's mean, true. Honestly, like, in sealed. Being a stealth piece with combat reflexes and you're a 20 up close and outwit. Outwit's big. Outwit is always huge in sealed. Her stats are like pretty reasonable. Like, you know, well, I, if I don't have probs, yeah. there's a good chance I'm just going to say I'm not attacking this piece. Yes, if sir. I don't have outwit and I'm going against this Black Widow, I'm probably never going to attack it if it's in hindering. Because yeah. that's a 20. And if I can't outwit that combat reflexes, then yeah. There's just no way unless i yeah unless i have something crazy but you know whoa <laughs> next up is ant-man uh, a ridiculous 45 points i have to say he's got the avengers team ability he has no range avengers fantastic four guardians of the galaxy stark industries animal detective he has a full dial of stealth what's a full dial calder yeah it's seven clicks long for 45 points also a full dial of precision strike three clicks of super senses and then he goes on to four clicks of combat reflexes Two clicks of his special damage power, then three of CCE, and then two clicks of his special damage power. He also is flight and tiny. He has a trait called Elephant Hawk Moths. Friendly characters with tiny size have wing speed symbol. Okay, that's fun. What's his damage power? It's just empower, period, free. Choose an adjacent friendly character that shares a cure with Ant-Man, which basically everyone in the set. Uh, the chosen character now has tiny size <laughs> until your next turn. So he just makes you tiny, and then he also gives you the wing speed symbol. Uh, just period. They don't have to be adjacent. You just you're tiny. You get an elephant hawk moth for free. That's kind of cool. Sure, he has no move and attack, but man, he's insane tie up. He just gets right up in your face. He empowers the rest of his team, and then he's seven clicks long. And that first hit, you probably just knock him on to his combat reflexes, which makes him even harder to hit because he's again a stealth piece the entire time. Yeah, Ant-Man's a little ridiculous. Old Scotty Lang here is, like, really hitting out of his weight class, man. It's kind of nuts. I don't I don't know why they made him so good, but he's, like, so good. Like, yeah. he's click for crazy. click, point for point. He's really good. I mean, not only the dial length, but also the ability to, yeah, shrink anybody who shares a keyword. Like, once again, Animal and Detective and Avengers, all of those keywords, I think, Starting are really, really solid. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go like crazy and say that this guy will see competitive play, but I do think he like. There's probably situations where it warrants him. But being able yeah. to make someone tiny and messing with stuff That's like so that good. is huge. It's yeah. Really and then when you size make them changers tiny, they have get flight always too. been interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's the other thing That's you have to crazy. consider is even if you don't need the size change, just giving somebody wing symbol flight, yeah. is like potentially good. Um, and then yeah, just being in power and like any other aspect without any of that, like empower for 45, while I wouldn't say it's like the most crazy thing for 45 points, I think it's sealed. It's pretty crazy because if you have enough close attackers, you can really get your bang for your buck on that. Yeah. But I don't think he's going to be like a standout piece by any metric, but there may be some like wonky strategies where ant-man like really shines so he's no wasp part of the avengers i really like no, this guy but, <laughs> you know. all right up next is stinger who did not get a seven click dial but yeah she, this is cassie lang yeah cassie oh, lang. sorry no it's fine My bad. we're all getting confused uh so she's got avengers she's got four range two lightning bolts 45 points uh avengers young avengers and animal keywords um she has five clicks First three clicks are charge, precision strike, and close combat expert with tens for two, so she'll be eleven for three. And then she moves on to sidestep pulse wave with perplex. Uh, she doesn't damage doesn't really matter, but it's two and one on there. Uh, and then she's got a full dial of uh, super senses, uh, and she's also tiny size with flyer, so uh, she's our second tiny flyer. Uh, but her trait is Ant-Man's partner. It's ESD. Friendly characters with tiny size can use energy shield deflection. So if you're running that Ant-Man who can make them tiny and give them the wing symbol, they can also get energy shield deflection when they're tiny. And hers doesn't hinge on anything. They don't have to be adjacent or share a keyword, anything like that. It just happens. But uh, she's actually a really solid 45-point attacker with four range, two lightning bolts, and that... Uh, precision strike stuff going on 
Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this is I mean, uh, tiny size with ESD. That's plus three at range. It's really good. It's really good. That's also pretty solid. Where's that Ant Man? Like Simeon said, I didn't think this is how we were going to get Stinger and Hero Clicks. I thought he was going to wear a lot more black and white face makeup, but this is the this is the, <laughs> this is the Stinger we get, I suppose. And it's a stinger for you. She's yes, up in the it rafters. Is. It is. <laughs> Cassie Lang's up in the rafters. Yeah, I think overall, this is probably another... I mean, uh, really, the commons are all really, really solid. solid yeah. Yeah. This guy parts. next is also kind of insane. Pretty good to build yeah. this Right up <laughs> Ian's alley here. Hey, we've got an Iron Man without running shot and energy explosion. That's a Whoa. day I'll always celebrate. Uh, so we've got Iron Man, number 10 in the set. 60 points, 4 range, double target. The Avengers TA... And, uh, yeah, 60 points. Avengers, Illuminati, Stark Industries, Symbiote, Mm. Armor, and Scientist. Very interesting there. So, this guy, yeah, I mean, this is like a dream pull in Sealed. You really are hoping for this guy. He's got 8 sidestep with flight, so he's a great taxi. He's got 10 with the TK. Barrier, 18. You know, Barrier can come in handy in a lot of situations. Oh, yeah. And then 3 damage leadership. This is, like, quite literally every power that you want to, like, start a team with. Action economy, carrying, mobility, protection. He also has pilot on Avengers. Precision strike. This is a trait, by the way. So precision precision strike slash slash friendly characters that are adjacent or have the Avengers keyword can use precision strike. So yeah, just handing that out as well. Incredible. Cool. Map wide Avengers really have precision strike. That's crazy. It's pretty uh, nuts after we just got through that Spider Man set with so many super senses so if you're playing him ant-man and stinger all together you're handing out esd precision strike and tiny size and i mean geez a lot of stuff going on and then he also has another trait extrembiote plasticity shape change we've seen it before but you know looking at these previous figures like black widow ending on like a four charge iron man seems less affected by the changes eight sidestep and then on his, the back half of his dial, because his first three clicks are all the same, he's rocking some running shot uh, with range combat expert and invuln with the six movement for range. So less affected by like the pullback on range movement, things like that. So yeah, I mean, this guy is probably my favorite common so far. Maybe Ant-Man beats him out just because that dial's ridiculous. But yeah. This guy is, like you said, it's a, it's a great starting point for a sealed team. Sidestep, TK, leadership, barrier. Three powers that you'll definitely find useful and sealed from time to time. And then, yeah, if you can build an Avengers, everybody getting Precision Strike ain't bad. Yeah, Especially, we've seen a lot of Super Senses. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really solid. Next up, old Captain Carol, Avengers, Cosmic <laughs> Energy. She's kind of nuts in Sealed, actually. She gives you really good options. And you're like, Calder, how does she give you options? Well, she's five clicks long, but she switches between two parts of her dial. I didn't check if she had blue click numbers, though. So it's she has a trait called free turn Captain Marvel to the same click number of a different color. She has blue. That means you can pin her. Yeah. Uh, and that's huge. <laughs> and silver. Um, she can she, be pinned. She's got 70 points. She is Alpha Flight, however, not from Canada. What? Uh, she is Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Kree, and Cosmic. Five range. Like I said, Avengers team ability, so she get a plus one attack. So keep that in mind. And then she has Cosmic Energy, so totally protected outwit and willpower the entire time. So... She has close combat expert and ranged combat expert on both sides of her dials. Uh, on the RCE dial, she is running shot and invuln the entire time. She starts with Pensai for two clicks, and then three clicks of Pulse Wave with an 11 attack. So it could be a 13 attack Pulse Wave, depending. Um, or maybe it'll only be a 12. Would you get rid of their team ability and then therefore can't use the Avengers team ability on a Pulse Wave? Is that how that would work? Uh, or maybe not. That's that, kind of a wonky rule. That is question. a great question. We'll we'll get back to that later. I don't but know. that's her running They can't shot. use the abilities, um, but I think it's still right. printed have, on it. Yeah. Yeah. So she would have a plus one. Yeah, I think one. she'd be a 13. Think, I think okay, right. potentially, right. yeah. So, that's the top, crazy. Yeah, I know. So she would be a 13 Pulse Wave or a, just a 12 attack for four, for 4 damage top dial. She's only a 17 top dial on her running shot dial. So that kind of balances things out. And then on her close combat dial, full dial of charge, CCE, 2 clicks of super strength, and then 3 clicks of quake. So she kind of has like the big power on her attack. 
and then she goes on to like a, an AOE power for both like dials, and then she has Impervious for her first three clicks, and then goes on Invuln for her last two clicks. But switching around these dials is really huge. If you were like, okay, I need the reach, there's the running shot, or oh, I'm right, I can get in close, let's charge, let's knock someone back, do some extra knockback damage, or have a better reducer with Impervious instead. It works. So I think Captain Marvel's really cool. She is, again, only five clicks long, and a good bowman and some shield TA can just kill her outright, which is a little rough because there's kind of a lot of Pensai in this set. Mm. So she's not maybe great in sealed, but I think she's a really fun, solid Captain Marvel. You know, it shows two different ways she has abilities yeah. and whatnot. Or punchy, her shooty. It's fun. I think I think it's still a figure where if you pull her, you're probably playing her. I think her. so. I think you do play her. Is in she shield. not Almost. a flyer? Like, they don't have it listed it here. It doesn't but... say she's a flyer, but I believe she is a flyer. Oh, yeah, I would have to imagine she, she is. Be. It'd be weird if she wasn't. That would, got, yeah, it would make yeah. no sense. Cosmic <laughs> Energy Carol Danvers is probably but flying. Oh, yeah. I am walking over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, let me just walk my binary. binary I don't know. Binary butt per, over yeah. there, lady. Come on. We haven't seen a good uh, Carol binary version since the movie one, I nope. guess. That was Not pretty. Really, no. That was the last good one. All right, uh, next up, Spider Man robot. Why am I getting all the robots? You are. You are getting all the robots. <laughs> uh, so, real name Time Spinner. <laughs> team. Uh, it's got the Spider Man team ability. Four range, two lightning bolts, forty points. Got the Council of Kangs, future, past, and robot keywords. It's three clicks long. With the exact same powers on every click and the exact same stat. Oh, not the exact same stats. Uh, 7 speed with leap climb, 10 attack with incapacitate, 17 defense with toughness, and then the first two clicks are 3 damage with prob, and the last click is 2 damage with prob. Uh, so, other than being 40 point prob and sealed, what is Spider-Man Robot doing? It is the pull through time trait, which is power. Choose another friendly character with an 8 squares that shares a keyword with Spider-Man Robot and place them adjacent to Spider-Man Robot. If the chosen character has the Council of Kangs keyword, remove an action token from them. This is... Uh, it takes some placement, but this is an insane thing to do in a time when TK is only four squares now. This is double TK, yeah, which is pretty wild. You can leap climb him up seven squares, and then next turn uh, do an eight-square power action that places them more than eight squares uh you can potentially actually go 10 squares with that placement because you can place them in front of him which is just nuts to think about but yeah i actually i think this guy's got um he might have some chops depending on if uh the keywords work out because they you do have to have at least one of those and i don't think it'll be a council of kangs but other than that he's just a cheap prob which is always welcome and sealed. 40 is a little scary yeah. for a three-click character, though, I, I will say. I feel a lot better if he had super senses. It's a little scary. He, he does have six. Yeah, he does I, have a Spider-Man team. That. <laughs> I get that. Um, <clears throat> toughness, 17. No, I think, I think like what, you're, what you're doing is you're like finding a way to get him up there not using TK and then doing like one large leap. Yeah. We'll have Cause, to because he's one and done after that. Yeah, he's he's, he's not doing he's a whole done. lot. Yeah, you have to keep your eyes out for future past. There is a, quite a bit of robots too, but the first thing that comes to mind with that is like, oh yeah, just have Sky Tyrant get yanked back, or I think mm -hmm. Flash has past, has past and future. Yeah. I think he has at least so future. maybe. But yeah, seventeen oh, yeah, toughness. You, you he's could also use it as like a safety Flash, thing to yo-yo yeah, him back too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, eh. but his Give real me. name being Time Spinner. Time whoever spinner. you are, that's a tight name. We also have Ultron drone. Hey, here's a robot you didn't get. So oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, real name none. Doesn't, Dang, he doesn't. Not very do savage. Yeah. He's got fake names. He doesn't keep it real. <laughs> He's got some Masters of Evil TA, which is awesome for piling on some defense reduction. He also has a four range with a single target, thirty points. Masters of Evil armor robot, and three dials here. So one of them sports charge, toughness, and CCE. 6, 10, 18, 2 on the last click. He just has 4 movement instead. Uh, the next dial option, which these are all 3 clicks, um, is Plasticity, Invuln, and then Empower. And then once again, last movement is 4. Damage stays the same. Attack, defense, all that. And then the last one, probably the most interesting in my opinion, is Mind Control, Precision Strike, and then Impervious. And he is a 6, 10, 16, 1 for the first 2 clicks. 4, 10, 16, 1 for the last. So... 
Yeah, the trait is when Ultron Drone starts the game, turn it to any starting line. So if he starts the game from something else, per se, like a generation, you would get to pick. So having the option of like a charge CCE piece or, you know, some empower, some mind control maybe, all of that sounds really fun. I don't know how many I'd be using like on my starting force necessarily. I think in Sealed you'll probably play them, but, uh, you know, when we get further into the generators, I think this is a really, really fun piece to generate. Oh yeah. Oh, I think he's awesome. I think he's crazy. I, I like each line. Each line he's is a like, flyer a too. Oh, he's, oh wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Thirty okay. point flyer cool. and mastery of evil. You don't need much more than just that, but yeah, the option between those three, and it definitely could like change between games. Like, yeah. do I? Does he have some big bad guy that I like want to like use plasticity and time down and force him to deal with this? The first? empower is also super helpful. Empower so, yeah. is really helpful. Yeah, mind I need control, solid entry. mastermind fodder. Picking like the impervious yeah. there. That's yeah. yeah. I really like him. I'm excited to see what he does with the Ultrons like later in this set. But yeah, very cool. Always love when you get options like this, especially on generics. Next up is Miss Jessica Jones. Her team ability is Defenders. So she can share that whopping 17 <laughs> or take a hopefully better defense from a better defender in the set. 40 points, Avengers, Defenders, Heroes Fire, Marvel Knights, and the Detective Keyword. She has the Consulting Detective trait. When establishing theme teams, choose a friendly character. The chosen character gains a Detective Keyword. You don't even have to be making a Detective theme team, technically, for this to work. It's just any time you establish theme teams, you just choose anyone to get it. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't. When you're not making a detective one, but you well, can. Well, if you're if playing, you're playing mystery, mystery cards. Mystery yeah. cards. Oh, that's true. Mystery yeah. cards. So there, there you go. Detective Wendigo. That's right. <laughs> on the case. Oh, gosh. Uh, the second trait is more than I seem, which gives her traded leap climb and close combat expert. She has stealth for two clicks, flurry for her next two clicks, toughness for three clicks, regen on her last one, and then she has her special damage power, her entire dial, which is sarcasm is my superpower. You're not really sarcastic, Jessica. You're more cynical and broody than anything else, but okay. Anyways, this gives her perplex. <laughs> But Jessica Jones uses it to target an opposing character after resolutions roll a d6 on a 5 through 6. Remove an action token from her or an adjacent friendly character with, that's right, you guessed it, the detective keyword. So that's kind of neat. So you just target an opposing character, perplex them down, and then 5 or 6, remove an action token from herself or an adjacent friendly detective. She is like, okay, I guess, for 40 points. Uh, yeah. That's really it. She's kind of cool tie-up that can get a good hit in. Um, if they let her get to her flurry clicks and don't kill her before then, that's can be Ooh, pretty can yeah. mess you up a little bit, actually. A little perplex down the defense, a little bop, bop, 11 for 3 twice coming your way, or even a 10 for 4 on her very last click. So yeah, it's Jessica. It fills yeah. a little Jessica Jones role that we haven't had since ADW, so that's nice, but that's really about it. It's not an autoplay in Sealed. I think it's more so, like, if the points work out, you're probably playing her just because Perplex is good. And yeah, she can be a good, you know, like, tertiary attacker. She's not great for tie-up, though, because it's like you don't want to use her Perplex on her own defense. And her mobility is really not great either, like... I don't know. I really like the ability to make new detectives, but yeah, this is like, this is like if the points work don't out, worry. There's you can a have a version of that same person oh, later in the set. Okay. Detective, anyways. <laughs> Simeon, your robot, my, my good sir. <laughs> oh my the gosh. next robot. Uh, it is zero fifteen vision. Real name the Vision. He's part of the oh. Avengers. He's got the Avengers TA, uh, Avengers <laughs> and robot keywords. Yeah. His real name is the... first name the, is The. <laughs> first name The, last name Vision. Please, my father is Mr. Vision. Yeah. Call me The Vision. Call me The. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's 60 points. Uh, for 60 points, you get seven clicks of dial. The first four clicks are charged. The last three clicks are sidestep, precision strike, regen, and outwit. Uh, with his four clicks of charge, you get two clicks that are psychic blast, and then two clicks that are quake. You get four clicks of his special defense that is invincible and super senses. And all four of those top clicks, you get close combat expert. So he's actually, you know, charging in an 11 for four top dial and then a 12 for four on clicks three and four. Pretty solid 60 point attacker. And then he also has a trait that is through the wall. Through the window. <laughs> yeah. Through, through the, the wall. wall. Through it's the wall. vision. The vision. Yeah. Uh, so that gives him phasing teleport. When the vision makes a close attack, <laughs> characters within one square are considered adjacent regardless of terrain. Uh, so 
He can kind of punch through walls and stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the whole point of that trait. Yeah, it gives him phasing and then the ability like to punch through walls. I don't love charge psychic blast. No, charge psychic blast feels must weird. Must play in sealed. That's I think. four silly. four yeah, range, one lightning bolt, sixty point dial. Invincible for senses attacker. for four clicks yeah. with regen. For 60 points, you're getting 7 clicks of life. Oh, and boys. the Avengers TA, maybe yeah. he's a 12-4 top. He's not getting one shot. No. Like, this is not happening, so this is really good. No, it'd be pretty hard with that Phasing click to length. get him into position, and maybe. Yeah. don't have another flyer. Oh, that's true. That's I, true. I, I really like this guy. I think this is probably one of the better commons. I think Bowman is probably my favorite so far. Yeah, I think he's mm. like the bad, your power Potentially 11-4 for 40. Is, yeah. That's just nuts. But yeah, Vision, solid. Don't love this power combo of whatever. You know, it is what it is. But guess who's bats? Bats, bats, bats for the first time ever. <laughs> uh, 016 bats. Real hey, name kids. Bats. You know how kids love dead dogs? <laughs> I'm going to put a dead dog in I this. I love dead dogs. <laughs> uh, team ability mystics. Very cool. Zero first range, time. single target, 30 points. Uh, keywords Avengers, Defenders, Pet Avengers. They're back. Animal and mystical. And then. He has a trait of Strangest Faithful Hound, unique modifier. Adjacent friendly characters that share a keyword with bats modify attack plus one. That's pretty solid. Dang. He's tiny size as well. And then he also has traded super senses. On the dial, you'll see the same power set across all three clicks of his life, which is phasing, in cap, willpower, and enhancement. Stats are pretty lackluster. You've got 1086 for movement, 1099 for attack. 18, 17, 17 for defense, and then ones across the board for damage. So he's an enhancement piece. He's also giving you plus one attack if you share. Maybe, I mean, I'm just going to go kill this thing like immediately. Yeah. But yeah. if he can stay alive, he's really Man, solid. How bad is it's it? A 19 for range. Point value, you think? Like oh. 30 points, or, you know what I mean? I mean, he is a. Yeah. He's a plus one attack and damage. He's a so like that's crazy with all the Avengers in this set. Give me just every Avenger plus one. How attack. many? How many? He's a better common version of like, are there though? Skeets. Where it's plus one range and then plus one yeah. damage for power action. Like that's fair. But think about this: he can also fly, and he also has. He can also yeah. You, you can also size. carry him because he's tiny. Oh, that's right. So with yeah, like running shot him around because he's tiny. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's ant bats. Ant bats. <laughs> plus, uh, what's the name of his super sense tradian? Ghost dog. Ghost dog. Ghost, ghost dog. dog. <laughs> ghost diggity dog. Oh, gosh. Who are you uh, going to call? Actually, I love this character from the comics. He mostly just, like, hangs around and talks to Strange in ghost form. But yeah. As a dog? Yeah, he's a ghost dog. He's a, a ghost talking dog. dog. Yeah. A little talking ghost dog. Mm. He's a basset Ooh. hound that the... <laughs> like, I think Loki killed him or something. Do I don't remember. Dog. Oh, dang. Dang, Loki. Can we almost do a full dog team in HeroClix right now? We have, uh, Ooh, there's no, we only can. one timeline. <laughs> we have, like, Scrappy. We have Scooby. We have Bats. Yeah, we well, have Lockjaw. Scrappy, put, Scrappy bodies Bats, too. You know what's funny is this isn't the first, uh, this isn't the first Bats dog. No? No. Oh, shut up. Because Ace, Ace the, the Bat, bat Hound yeah, was the I first Bats dog. <laughs> going on into the uncommon dials and this dude slaps really hard when you roll his dice uh, correctly this is hulk uh he's got avengers and defenders team ability so he can share an 18 with jessica's little pitiful 17 so that's nice he can also get a plus one attack because he's an avenger zero range one bolt 75 points avengers defenders and brute keywords hulk here's got seven clicks of life he is a very slow six speed charge for his first four ki four clicks, and then he moves on to three clicks of flurry. He does have five clicks of super strength, and then two clicks of steel energy. He has three clicks of willpower with an eighteen, and then four clicks of regeneration with a seventeen. And then he has some close combat expert for four clicks, and then some battle fury for four clicks with a four damage on his first and last clicks of life. You're like, whoa, Calder, you didn't say a single, like, reducing power for this Hulk. I know, that's crazy. But keep in mind that he's, like, a 13 for 5 top dial. And really, like, a 13 for, like, 7 with a terrain object and everything. So he's hitting really hard, but he just is really, really slow. His trait helps him live a little bit longer. It is the Incredible Hulk. Hulk can reduce penetrating damage. Slash Slash, when Hulk is dealt damage, roll a d6 and reduce damage by the result. So he lets him reduce damage, so he needs half, to be able to... Half the result. Half the result. So he's, <laughs> right. he's going to roll a d6, he's going to reduce the damage, and he can reduce penetrating by half the result. So if you roll a 6 or a 5, that is, he reduces by 3, which is better than every reducer in the game. So that's really solid. Or on a middle roll, on a 3 or a 4, that's by 2. What or happens if, if he's poisoned? Unlucky, 
Huh? What happens if he's poisoned? If he's poisoned, he just gets poisoned. Oh, man. You reduce yeah, the damage sucks. by half, Ooh, yeah. and it rounds up to well, one. Well, when he's dealt damage, uh, you reduce the damage by half the result in the d6. Well, if you rolled, yeah, you will reduce all poison, actually. Oh, yeah, you yeah, will, yeah. Because it's whatever you I thought it was damage, on, okay. not by an attack. So, yeah, you'll totally right. reduce poison. I thought it was also by an attack. I was just, yeah, sad. I was reading it wrong. So, yeah, you can get really unlucky by rolling <laughs> some ones and twos, but if you roll higher than that, or even middle of the road, he's really solid. Uh, it's a pretty okay Hulk dial. It's a very unique take on Hulk, and so I, I appreciate that from a dial design standpoint. That it's a very unique version of Hulk. This Hulk also, his head is like the size of dude. Not, it's so weird. It's oh, so it's... tiny. But then his arms and his shoulders, like his shoulders, like four of his heads put together. It's matte. It's insane. Hulk it reminds me of like some like places. old like eighties, nineties like Hulk comics where he yeah. was like all creepy looking, like really scary looking Hulk. Kind of like he uh, looks super weird. There's some like null artwork that's very similar, where he just has like this ultra skinny head, and it's like yeah. Are you earthworm Jim, bro. Like, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> null. Earthworm null. All right, we broke the cycle. Next up is Scarlet Witch. She's not a robot. She's not Wanda Scarlet uh, robot witch. Uh, she is just <laughs> Avengers Mystics team abilities, and then she's got the Avengers and mystical keywords. She's 35 points, 4 range, 1 lightning bolt, only 4 clicks long, but she's very good utility piece and sealed. She is sidestep TK barrier uh, top dial, and then she has a special damage power, her whole dial that is chaos magic, and that gives her perplex probability control, but only to target opposing characters, which ain't half bad. It's not amazing, but it's not half bad. She moves on from that. On click two, she gets sidestep psychic blast, keeps the barrier, and then gets three damage with that perplex prob power. And then her last two clicks, she loses the sidestep, keeps the psychic blast, and then goes to ESD and keeps that same chaos magic damage power. Uh, for 35 points, I think she's worth the top line. Good. But I don't think you ever bank on probing opponents really no. i don't think that's like the best use of her absolute autoplay though yeah i think she's just high mobility um in sealed anyway in sealed yeah was she just designed to be chaos war like starter scarlet witch in a new era like, very similar it's very yeah. very similar man tk does seem barrier, like perplex per prop is that not just chaos war she scarlet also witch? the uh well the 50 point line version also started with psychic blast so oh. like mid dial it also shifted so it's even more accurate than that the only thing is that one had defend i believe at one point. Oh, okay uh. but she did have esd she did have barrier on the lower All line right. so this is you know very similar power set <laughs> she's at least good for like one mystics damage too true that's true yeah if your opponent decides to hit her <laughs> yeah i dig it i think she's really solid i think Seems if you can uh non-robot pick yeah <laughs> If you can get her, we down had to get out of the we had to get nasty. out of the commons to get to the non robots. That's, that's true. Ooh. It's Patsy. Oh yeah, it's Patsy. Hellcat baby, Patricia Patsy Walker. This was uh, the first Ellie figure that my brother ever wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Hellcat from Ultimates. I still awesome. have it. Uh, the <laughs> team abilities: she's rocking as Avengers Defenders, zero range, single target, forty points, and then keywords: Avengers Defenders, Celebrity Detectives. More detectives in this set. Uh... She seems really solid for 40. I like her a lot. She's kicking things off with a special movement power, which is Charge, Leap, Climb. She also has 11 attack with blades, 17 combat reflexes, 2 damage exploit, and then 6 movement. So easy to get in position. The Avengers TA could help her out, bump her up to a 12. So she's got 2 clicks of that. Then she goes to 6, 10, 17, 2 with Leap, Climb, Precision, Toughness, CCE. 2 clicks of that. And then the last two clicks are Mind Control, Regen, and Exploit. One of the strangest power sets, like, ever. <laughs> that is a very is weird, weird bottom dial. 40 points. Oh, and also, a trait. Hellcat has Safeguard Mystics. And there's not a ton in the set, but it could help you out. I think that top dial is pretty dang solid for 40. Um, nothing, like, crazy going on here. But uh, she does seem like a pretty solid piece to just throw in your opponent's face and say, like, deal with her if you don't. It might hurt really bad. Pen blades can flip a game. Yeah. Yeah. Really I mean, bad. on... She messed me up pretty good. On a good enough roll, she one-shots that uh, Carol we saw on her Ooh, that's impervious true. Oh, style. that's terrifying. Yeah. Me? Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a cat fight. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, Luke Cage. <laughs> Uh, this is another really solid common. I really like it. It doesn't show where his 
line is, which really sucks. Actually, he's 40. Is it that? Okay, that makes sense. All right. Anyways, he's 70 points or 40 points. He's six clicks of life or three clicks of Actually, life. It might, it might be. Potentially here. there. Yeah, I don't know where his, his line is. Very annoying. I think we'll it is that third check. click. think so? So anyways, Luke Cage is Avengers team ability and a team player, which makes sense. He's been on a ton of different teams. He's like Heroes for Hire, Avengers. Apparently, uh, Fantastic Four and Defenders, too. I must have missed those. I knew Marvel Knights and Thunderbolts. Well, Defenders makes sense. I guess so. He's in that they, realm. They, oh, they've he given was, the Heroes for Hire Defenders, defenders a good amount, it's, too. Yeah. 40 point line is on click three. Is on click it three. Wow, click that's three? really okay. good. Yeah, okay. That's insane. So that is insane. Uh, he has improved movement, destroy blocking terrain when he moves through. It's really good. His speed power for his first three clicks, and then his first click on his 40-point line is Harlem's Hero, which gives him charge, leap climb. When Luke Cage destroys one or more pieces of blocking terrain, if he isn't holding an object, he may immediately generate and hold an object. So that's really cool. He just rips a wall or a, something as he goes through it, and he bashes you over the head with it. So that's really cool. And that's immediately generate and hold one. So he can do so, I believe, while he is charging. Uh, as soon as he, yeah, destroys a piece of blocking. So that's really cool. So he's always going to be hitting an 11 for 4, which is really solid. And then his special attack power, you're like, Calder, he can't hold. Blah, blah. Yeah, get out of it. Uh, it's super strength. <laughs> So when he's given a close or ranged terrain action, you increase the damage by one. Uh, so actually, he's doing five damage the entire time yeah. at close, which is a little nuts for 70 or even 40 points. He can do four, five damage, which is really cool. That's only a four square reach with the charge. But that's still really I solid. I mean, he could do I'm more than this. five, man. Like, he actually could. If you had an object and plus one, is that that's like six damage, isn't it? Oh, yeah, because you increase the damage dealt by one. You could do seven. Yeah, you could actually do way more. You could more. do seven damage with yeah, this Luke Cage. You're right. <laughs> Holy crap. That's actually insane. That's really cool. So, yeah, Luke Cage hits hard. It's really, This is actually really awesome. You do get invincible if you play him at 70 over 40, which, eh. like we me well, like we mentioned, with all the Pensai in this set, just yeah, that is true. Uh, Bowman and then Carol Danvers and stuff like that. Bowman just one-shots a 40-point Luke Cage. He's got a lot of figures numbers. Bowman yeah. is Bowman's high-ranking, man. Yeah, He's dude. Good. He's, I do think. Really good. If you pull two of these somehow, or if you just want to <laughs> play two, like this Luke Cage actually helps Luke Cage a I lot. I know, yeah. The Empower helps each other out, dude. I, I like this Luke Cage a lot. It's a really yeah. solid, uncommon design that makes me feel like I'm playing a fun, thematic, accurate Luke Cage. And he isn't like overly complicated either. Like no. all of the, yeah, all of these feel really accurate to him. And it's not like convoluted in any no, sense. Not at all. I think this is another figure that whether it be higher or lower if you pull him this is probably an auto play too he's really really solid getting one hit off with him moving through something yeah. bashing with an object yeah if they allow special terrain in uh sealed I don't typically know. they don't usually yeah. they just allow you can play terrain ones. so like the single squares of like basically any terrain sure, but, but you can't bring like a three by two of no yeah. you can't do no. like the anchor the sh shipping I'm gonna container. say yeah him whipping an anchor it's, it's so like sad. yeah take seven yeah, <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be awesome. Simeon, uh, this isn't a robot, but she does have a robot, robot arm. Robot so arm. She's a cyborg. Yeah. She's close enough. So we got 021 Misty Knight, real name Mercedes Misty Knight. She's a Defender's yeah, team ability. Yeah. Oh. One of them car people. Uh, <laughs> she's named after a car. My and son her Ford arm. is real angry her at those arms, comments. Robot, and she's named after a car. She's part Whoa. car. It's possible. Uh, so she's got the Defender's team ability. Four range, two lightning bolts, 30 points. Uh, Defenders, Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, and Detective keyword. We haven't seen Marvel Knights in a hot second as a, well, prominent keyword, I should say. Uh, for 30 points, you get four clicks of life. Her first two are the same, and it's stealth, super strength, toughness, and then the special damage power that she has her whole dial with two damage. So she's a 10 for two with uh, six speed stealth and then she moves on to the last two clicks of five speed with sidestep a 10 and nine attack 17 and 16 defense with combat reflexes and keeps the two damage with her special damage power and that is the right tools to suit the situation leadership free choose one to last this turn close combat expert and power or enhancement and range combat expert so pretty much the best two options that you can choose from each turn uh you get to choose one to last the turn, but uh, yeah, pretty solid. Either plus what plus one attack and uh, damage for close, or plus one attack and damage for range, and then you can also help friendly characters. And then she has the consulting detective trait that is when establishing theme teams, choose a friendly character. The chosen character gains the detective keyword. So 
Just like uh, old 30, Jessica Jones. 30 points, so 10 points less, and she gives you the detective keyword, and empower enhancement. And leadership. And leadership. Leadership's She's like big. a way, way better Stunting. Jessica Jones. Stunting on Yeah, Jessica Misty Knight kind of balls out really also, hard here. Also, not that it's like worth a ton, but the ability for a low point character to have super strength to clear yeah, stuff out of the mail. Yeah, yeah. yeah like pretty, pretty solid. I think uh, her leadership won't be super effective. Although she does get to hand out the detective keyword. So actually, I lied. But uh, Defenders, Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, not great options. No. I do think that this is the first figure we've looked at that actually has like legitimate like top-level potential. I think she could be if better. The Just detective You're playing her with like a, a flyer? The other stuff she gives Detective out. Wendigo is on the case, baby. Yeah, she's... <laughs> detective Wendigo, Why you're him? giving him empowered. Because it's funny to picture him in a trench coat. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's in a trench coat with a... What whatever that it was Windigo the whole Bro. time. Yeah, he's got a fedora and a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't understand, kid. But yeah, I think I think uh, that mystery cards are severely underplayed at the moment. I think detective really is are. a keyword that's really close. When you have things like the Martian Manhunter team up that hand out outsiders, mm-hmm. so this figure might be the step that detective needs. And after rotation, when in Wonder Woman eighty's gone and all that, you know. There's going to be kind of a dial back in like what's good necessarily. Also, Scott Porter making theme teams better. Yeah. So I think that joke. Misty Knight is legitimately a figure you might see. And I don't know. I, I really like her. Like, you know, even if you're just using her for the keyword cheat, like getting those uh, additional utility powers, I think she's the first figure on this list that you might see like really she's crack top. Best friend play. of like a tent pole. Because, Absolutely. Uh, she gives them detective can leadership off of like their tokens yeah. off of them, and then Buff them. either picks empower or enhancement depending on whatever type they are. I really dig it. Yeah, she's nuts. All right, the real robot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one off, Simeon. We've got Jocasta. Real name Jocasta Pym. Team team player. Range of five with a single target. Seventy five points. Bit steep here. Avengers Fantastic Four armor robot scientist keywords. So she starts off with some sidestep, precision strike, impervious, and outwit for her first two clicks. She's an 8, 11, 18, 3. Drops to 17 for the basically the rest of her dial. She's got 16 on her last click. But uh, on the click 3 and 4, she's rocking running shot, psychic blast, invuln, and RCE. And then on the last two clicks of her life, six click dial, she is charge, super strength, uh, super senses, and shape change. So if she gets hit to these clicks, she will be... Potentially pretty hard to deal with. Uh, Outwit and Sealed's nice and everything, but she also has two traits. She's got Torn Between Two Worlds. If a friendly character named Ultron is on your force, modify her attack plus one. If a friendly character named Ant-Man is on your force, modify her defense plus one. So maybe if you pull her with Ant-Man. She also has Sacrificing Myself for the Greater Good as another trait. When Jocasta is KO'd, after resolutions, deal three damage to all characters within two squares of the last square she occupied. So this includes friendlies. Yeah. And this is the big thing you're playing for with her, probably. I personally am not huge on her. I think 75 is a bit much. Outwit's nice, but when you have Bowman rocking the I know, same dude, stats every time as it her. it comes up, it's like a Bowman just kills this piece. Well, he's less yeah. points. He's almost half the cost, and he's got a... A better Art top power dial. set, possibly? Yeah. Like, running I mean, shot, psychic kinda. blast? Better top dial, for sure, yeah. I mean, like, if you hit her onto, like, the mid dial, and you don't, like, it's like, oh, if I hit her again, I kill her. If you're in a pickle like that, she's great. But it's like, if you're smart, you just won't do that. Like, sidestep precision. Three damage is a lot of damage if, you're, if your team yeah. isn't reducers. Like, that kills flashes, that kills Fausts, that kills a lot of stuff. I mean, in the, in the mixed Spider-Man seal, it was really good. I did talk with one person that played Jocast, and they are like, yeah, this annihilates spider people. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. That's fair. But that was only in that one specific, like, moment. Right. Know? I think it's a figure where if I don't have to play her, like, if I pulled a, another figure without wit, I'm probably saying, like, no, she's not a flyer either, like... Yeah, I mean, maybe if you can, like, it's not my your opponent would have to be way so to get out dumb with. to kill her. But maybe that's also why she could be good, is because sure. like, oh, I can't attack her. Right. I'm not entirely sold. I don't love her. She's okay. Eh, maybe a play. It's not my favorite outwit that we've seen, just because the high no. point cost. But 
She's all right. Next up, the Grand Master. Ooh, Mr. Ndigwa, 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 Ndigwa. Anyways, uh, Ndigwast or whatever his name. Gast, Gwast, Dwast. Anyways, e <laughs> stop. I don't know why I went off so long. Cosmic <laughs> Try energy, team Try ability. One more time. <laughs> six. Anyways, six range, one bolt. He's ninety points or he's forty points. And we actually have his split line here, so uh, he is seven clicks of life, and then his forty point line starts on his little fourth click there, which is really cool. He has a damage power on his first four clicks of life, which is the odds are always in my favor. Thank you, lady from Hunger Games. Uh, once per turn, you may re-roll a roll made by a character within range and line of fire. That's wild. And then adjacent opposing characters can't use probability control. Pretty dang good. So he has not prob prob, which is pretty cool. That's uh yeah, mm. that's pretty neat. That's really all he is doing. Uh top dial, he is a TK with invulnerability. He's an eleven for three. First three clicks he has phasing, last three is plasticity. He's got some precision strike in there. His last three picks he also has outwit and steel energy. He rolls on to toughness once he loses invulnerability. He is just kinda bad for ninety points. There's not yeah. much he's doing actually. He's pretty rough. If you really need yeah. TK, maybe. If like TK hurt, is great and see down bad. You I mean ninety points. We just TK said it like that Jocasta wasn't great for seventy five and this guy's this guy's way, way worse. Way worse. Way lot, worse. Yeah. If you tough. really need TK, like maybe you know that, that scene from Aladdin where it's like Jafar gets like the powers of the genie. He's like unlimited cosmic power, <laughs> and then this the genie does like the to. itty bitty living space or whatever. <laughs> it's yeah. like I feel like it's that. It's like infinite cosmic power starts with phasing. That's like the <laughs> yeah, itty bitty little living space. Really rough. Every single time, these cosmic deities are just. It's like I can move anywhere, and then and wait, then die, and then wait until my next turn. <laughs> yeah, then do you can nothing. move anywhere to wait to die. Yeah. And I can I can move anywhere that Bowman will be able to reach me and deal me <laughs> and pen damage. Wreck me. Yeah. Yeah. Bowman is just he's stunting. <laughs> he's he's the stunt certified he stunter is, of the he's set. The common pick certified stunter of the set. All, All right. right, Simeon. We got our yeah. our first big old powerhouse. This is kind of insane. So, love it. Unlike the other. Uh, what what is Grandmaster uh, Elder of the Universe? Unlike yeah. the Elder of the Universe, Thanos here, real name Thanos, Cosmic Energy Team Ability, Black Order Eternal, Minions of Thanos, and Cosmic Keywords. He has a 175 point dial and a 100 point dial, and he's got six range, one lightning bolt. So at 175 points, you get Running Shot, Precision Strike, Invincible, and Shape Change for four clicks with Flight. Uh, his stats on those on click one, he's a 10 speed, 12 attack, 19 for four. And then he goes down to an 8, 12, 18 for four, an 8, 11, 18 for four, yada, yada. At 100 points, which is his fifth click, uh, he still has all of those powers running shot, precision strike, invincible, and shape change with an 8, 11, 18 for three. And then he, for the rest of his dial, which is all the way to a click 11, he gets Sidestep, Psychic Blast, Impervious, except for his last click, and Outwit. So his last click, I don't know if you can guess this, listener, but it's a stop click. It's a I Am Inevitable, Stop, Invincible, Regeneration, which pretty decent combo. I do kind of wish that he, at 175 points, he had one maybe on click four. Yeah. Uh, just feels like a lot of investment to like only get the one stop and then you can't ever heal up. But uh, he also has a trait that is perfectly balanced. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose an opposing character that dealt damage to Thanos since your last turn. If you do, choose a displayed standard power that character can use, and Thanos can use that power until your next turn. So it has to be displayed, meaning in their combat slot, uh, and it has to be a standard power. Those two things have to be met and they have to have attacked him, but pretty solid. I think a running shot is probably one of the fastest characters in this set with running shot. Uh, 10 speed flight top dial, so an effective range of 11 with a 12 for 4, not too bad if you can pair him with uh, bats or somebody else with enhancement or something. This is actually prime candidate for the Misty Knight, where she gives him detective mm, and yeah. then picks either enhancement or empower every turn for him. But I don't know. I'd probably 
I usually play these guys at their lower dial and sealed, so I'd probably play them at a hundred, just because I've been I've been burned one too many times playing like the the Superman at two ninety five or whatever. Yeah, I think that's fair. A big drawback on this Thanos for me personally is the single target. Oh yeah, because that way it's like if they have something like super senses and you just whiff the attack, like that could be the game right there. Like, or it might, change, you might not yeah. lose the next turn, but that's the first domino push. So I think. I'm also leaning towards like the bottom dial. I think Invincible Shape Change is a great power set, but yeah, like no stop click mid dial. He can only pick the power like on his turn. It only lasts for a turn, so I think this is a lower dial figure. I think you'll get more mileage out of him, and I think the outwit will ultimately help him a lot. Yeah, you don't really lose anything for not playing him at top other than stats either. Like I, that's it's legitimately the only thing yeah. you lose. Really invincible. He still has you you start longer. with invincible, but like you would you or would be able to pick ball. more powers yeah. if you played him at top dial more likely. It's like true. you'd be able to pick more powers How worth more it often. Is that though? Like probably is, for a lot of much. people, they played him at full in sealed down at Huntington's. Like, I think you play him at kind of full. A, how, did he do? how did they don't do win sealed? He he did not win. I don't think, but Matt Reed did really really well with him and that yeah. captain. For some reason, this Thanos and Prime Cap came in the same pack almost every time, oh. which is really wild. It's an so, awesome pack. That's yeah. a really awesome pack. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think that. you play him at top if you can. Keep him mobile enough that he's not going to get pinned yeah, down. The just running shot at if top you, is if a little If you have rough. other, like, I think it's really dependent on what else you pull. If you pull solid support, yeah, full dial, sure. Get if you pull some, like, yeah. you know, if you pull, like, a Luke Cage or a Bowman or things like oh, that, yeah. you know, if you can build a decent swarm where Thanos might not get burned down as quickly, like, you can keep him on that top dial or, you know, maybe they go for other things, right? Yeah, I, I think there's merit for both. Personally, I'm leaning towards the lower dial, though. I do just love that we have a beast uncommon Thanos. That's really cool. Oh, it's cool. great. My yeah. wallet is, is saying dope. thank you. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> thank you yeah. so much. Uh, next up is probably the best support piece in the set yeah. in terms of like lower rarity, and that is leader Samuel Stearns. He's got no team ability, six range with triple target, 35 points only. Uh, the keywords intelligentsia. How do you say that? Intelligentsia. Intelligentsia. Intelli- intelligentsia. Intelligentsia. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderbolts, Ruler, and Scientist. Uh, he's got 6, 10, 17, 2, his whole dial. He's got Stealth, the whole dial. TK, the whole dial. Super Sense is the whole dial. Prob for the first two clicks, and Outwit for the last two. So, yeah, just fantastic. TK yeah. Prob for 35. And then on top of this, he also has traded Control the Weak Minded. Mind Control. When Leader uses it, he has improved targeting. Hindering, elevated, and characters. So the only thing stopping him is blocking. If you can manage to win map with this guy, not only is he going to be fantastic for the TK probability control, like you don't need an explanation there. You know, getting him in position and getting a triple mind control off for 35 points, the amount of impact this guy will have on your sealed game. I mean, he's giving you two staple powers and a potential to just completely rip up a game. Just completely flip it on its head. So... Uh, probably, I mean, obviously it's a must play, but probably the best uncommon, at least so far. I think, I, I don't even think it's debatable. Leader's incredible. Yeah, leader's awesome. I mean, TK, Prob, Stealth, Super Senses, this is nuts. He's Mind good enough to, like, other stuff. maybe see competitive play. We saw it with Ultra Humanite yeah. was 10 points less, but he only had a single target mind control. This guy's triple was six range on reduced map sizes. <laughs> TK prob like I think if he saw through it's close. It's if he close. saw through blocking as well, then it would be a no brainer. That yeah. would be insane. But yeah, I mean Thanos on the Jr. right map, elevated is just as good as blocking. Yeah. So on a scientist theme, maybe? Like there's potential I, I here. It. Leader is uh he's fringe. I really like him. Next up we got Red She Hulk. Oh Betty Ross is back at it. We haven't seen her since like Fear itself, I think. It's been a long yeah. time. I don't know when the last so, red... I'm glad uh, to have her back. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah it's it's might, actually it might be Fear itself. So, so 10 years now, we have a Elizabeth Betty Ross. Was she in Fantastic Four? No. No? Nope. Yeah, no. Yeah, Fear itself. We, we started getting regular so, She-Hulk quite a bit. And, a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of Jen now. But not enough Betty. So Betty here is 75 points. She has a Defender's Team ability, so she's sharing out an 18 Defend. Uh, she's Defender's Brute and Monster keywords. Improved Movement destroys Blocking Terrain. She has traded Gamma Powered, Will Power, and She-Hulk modifies, de- or sorry, She-Hulk's defense powers have protected Outwit, 
So you're not going to be able to outwit her invulnerability, her impervious, or her invincible. Although there is a certain bow man <laughs> that can kind of shoot right <laughs> through her defense. Let's just keep him out of the mind for a second here. Uh, she is an 8 speed charge, 10 attack, quake, 18 defense, invuln, and 4 damage with perplex top dial. I think this is a pretty solid dial. It's got 7 clicks of life. She's got really bloated stats in the middle for being a 10 4 top dial she goes on to being an 11 3 with cce so she's a 12 for 4 mid dial or even a 12 for 5 on her uh, third to last click she's then also a 12 for 5 on her last click just oh, naturally with steel energy yeah although she goes down to a 16 defense these are her invincible clicks uh, she then heals up one on her second to last click to be a 12 for four uh, with Steel Energy Battle Fury, which is kind of nutty. I kind of am digging her dial design. The whole the ang the more damage she takes, the angrier her gets. Her defense reducer gets better. Her stats get better. It's kind of cool. So it doesn't help out on that first initial alpha, uh, but the, the willpower is really nice. The protected outwit is really nice, especially all those invincible clicks to keep her going. She's really fun. I like this Betty, especially since it's been so long, but she's nothing crazy. In Sealed, do you play her? Maybe. She's pretty Probably. hard to take out in Sealed. Yeah. I think she's pretty solid. She gives a little bit of a perplex. I would. It's a bit of a bummer, the low attack right away, but she's got perplex to help her out and everything. So couple I do, good willpower like rolls, you know? couple good willpower rolls. Those so could really help out. Nice. Perplex is always nice. She yeah. does enough damage. So, I, li I like Red She-Hulk. She's yeah. nothing crazy, but she's really solid, and she feels like the character. And I, she's I just a like character her. who could actually, like, really be helped out by defenders. Like, her defense drops to that 16, yeah. so, like... Yeah, then Jessica Jones is yeah, Jessica Jones. 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 Let's go. <laughs> She's coming back. She's meta. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think she's definitely worth considering playing. All right. Next up. It's another robot. It is a robot. Uh, it's, uh, it's a robot. Zero two seven Korvac. Real name Michael Korvac. He's got the cosmic energy team ability. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, Mike. Michael Korvac and the Vision. <laughs> the Vision. <laughs> Seven range, one lightning bolt. He comes in at a just solid one hundred points. That is his only point value. Solid. His only point val line. Uh, he's got the cosmic future and robot keywords. He has a weird dial, but it's fairly static um so he has his first three clicks he has sidestep and that's the only speed power that you'll see on his dial then the rest of his dial he has no speed power but he those first three clicks he has six speed and then he gets three clicks of five speed and then four clicks or three clicks of four speed so he's nine clicks long altogether uh he starts with an 11 attack that he keeps on his first two clicks and then his last two clicks and then all of the clicks in the middle are 10 attack and on click two to, um, what is that? Click nine, uh, he has a special attack power that is a lightning capture. And that is steel energy, but with any attack. When Korvac uses it, he instead heals a number of clicks equal to the number of his charged tokens, maximum two. Uh, how do you get charged tokens? Well, that is his trait, supercharged android body. When Korvac takes damage from a ranged attack, after resolutions, give him a charge token. When Korvac makes a ranged attack, you may remove any number of charge tokens to modify his damage by the number of tokens removed, which is pretty crazy. That he can he can boost himself up to uh, potentially a six, I guess, top dial, because uh, he does have that max of two. So uh, his first two clicks, he has a special damage power that is fuller teal hard, whatever that is. <laughs> it is leadership, outwit, and shape change. We Joel, know it's not empty. It's fuller. Yeah, it's it's fuller. The, the teal heart is a, uh, it's fuller than it used to be. Um, so yeah, leadership outwit shape change. He has four clicks of invincible, and then on clicks three, four, and five, he goes to regular outwit instead of his special. Uh, on click five, he goes to invulnerability instead of invincible, and then he keeps that until click six, where he goes to leadership until click seven. And then on click 7, he also gets Toughness instead of Invuln. And he keeps that until click 8, where he gets Shape Change. And then he keeps that Shape Change to his last click on click 9, where he gets a single click of Regeneration. It's a wild dial. Kind um, of has like a stair step of powers. Like it's very... That, yeah, each click outlet he shares one. To Invuln Leadership. To Toughness, Shape Change. And it's like mm. an L shape every time. Yeah. 
It's like he he has leadership on oh, one of his toughest yeah. clicks. See what I'm saying? And then, yeah, kind of like, I do see that. Like one power changes, then the next one. Then he's got a click of both. It's one power of... changes, then the next one. Then he's got both. Like, yeah, that's interesting. I think his his, his damage and his are defense just... are just staggered a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I think his stats are just kind of low for 100 points, but he is 7 range. I like him. And he needs to be 7 like range. because You're going to spend more time healing than actually... He seems about like a pain to deal with. Like, unoutwittable Invincible is really so good. Slow. Well, unoutwittable Invincible, and then if you get attacked seven twice, range outwit, and you're keeping those charge tokens... To kill. I, I agree there. If you, have char- if you have charge tokens, every time he hits with Steel Energy, he heals 2. 2. Which that is, is really nice. I mean, he's not exactly range or easy close. to burn through, but he's not like a standout by any means. He's, I mean, if I pull him, more than likely I'm going to play him, but I'm not necessarily like, yes, I got yeah. Korvac. Korvac. Michael. Michael Korvac. <laughs> Michael Korvac. Michael Korvac. <laughs> yeah. I, no I will God. say it's one of the few times in uh, Modern Michael I can think Corby of is. where you'll roll leadership <laughs> and not have to worry about matching keywords because he'll just be higher points. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very true. Well, yeah, I mean, leadership's always nice, too. I think he's I think he's pretty solid. The Beyonder. Now, this is a figure with a lot of moxie. I'll tell you what. Rocking some cosmic energy. Six range, double target. What kind target. of person would play this in sealed? 225. Scumbag. 100. <laughs> Inhuman celebrity cosmic politician. This guy's the president of the world, baby. Uh, but he also has a trait greater than the fibric of reality, is what the post says. Should be, oh, <laughs> greater uh, than the fabric. The old fibric of reality. Oh, you know the fibric. Fibric on your shirt, whatnot. You know that fibric <clears throat> on reality. Anyways, all that is, guys, is just traded probability control. He also has a defense power on clicks. Let's see, five, ten, and eleven. Which is the one from beyond. Stop. Regen and Super Senses. So you have two options here. You can play him at 225, get a full 11 click dial, or you can play him at 100 and get six clicks of life. On 225, you're getting Hypersonic, Precision Strike, Invincible, Outwit, and he's a 10, 11, 18, 5. Second click's exactly the same. Third click, same power set, 9, 11, 18, 4. Then he switches on to some Running Shot, Psychic Blast, Impervious, and CCE. Uh, for the next three clicks, very similar stats. 11-11, uh, 18-4, 10-11, 18, 18 3, same thing on the next click. And then, so the 100-point line, you're going to start on that 10-11, 18 3 with Psychic Blast, CCE, pretty solid, Running Shot, Impervious. The next three clicks are, man, they're a bit rough. You've got Charge, Quake, Invulnerability, and yeah. Perplex. And then the last two clicks aren't anything to really write home about either. Sidestep, Steel Energy, the stop click with Regen Senses, and Shape Change. Double rollout's nice, double stop's nice, but... I mean, honestly, like, with how quickly he loses his offense, maybe you don't play him at 225. Color, you have a bit of experience I, with I it. do, so I played right up until top 32, and then my first game at top 32 with Beyonder. And at first, I was like, man, that is an insanely long dial to shoot through. I'm going to play some Don't Die Tech. He should usually almost always get the first hit off, which he usually did, actually. He has prob, which is great. He does a big five damage. Typically, I can't outwit something when I try to alpha with a hypersonic, just kind of the way it goes. But the biggest problem with him is you're going to get hit to those stops, and when you're on those stops, it's just super senses. So when they hit you during that... They mm. blew completely past this little from middle one section. Stop to the next from the stop. first stop to the next, they just yeah. blow past that one, or maybe you land somewhere on your invulnerability clicks. Yeah, and those just, are ugh, those are bad. And I, I spent one game, and I probably stayed on these last two just regen super senses clicks for about ten minutes. Just, <laughs> just sidestep away, regen. I'll barely heal one, heal one or two. Maybe get to invulnerability, get knocked here, get knocked here, regen, regen, get knocked here, get knocked here. Just to, and just like just trying to keep my 225 points alive. Like I probably rolled more regen rolls with him than I did attack rolls that entire game, like the entire day. Yeah, honestly. that is. But I uh, love if you can keep him top dial. The only problem is he has no uh, rollouts. He has no shape changes. He super senses. He doesn't even have a high defense. Yeah, for 225 Thanos, points, an 18. Yeah, an 18. Thanos Yeesh. for 50 points less has a 19 top dial with shape change. Yeah. So it's really tough. I really liked him, and I wanted to like him more. But man, were people killing him way faster than I thought he could? Because if you have a swarm team, 
Um, like so, the main reason I wanted to play him at so full, many attacks, and I really I I hundred percent don't recommend one hundred because Bowman just goes bop bop, you're dead. You know, again <laughs> Bowman, Bowman strikes again, yeah, dude. <laughs> but so you definitely don't ever want to play this guy at hundred. But if you're playing him at two twenty five, make sure you have some other support that's hard to KO. Like I had Spider Man Noir, a really tough to KO piece. Yeah. For 75 points, which made this a really good team. But man, was this dude just hard to keep alive. And that's why I was so surprised. So I think if his stock clicks were... If he had just traded regen and prob and then stop tough, I would love it way more. Or just traded steel energy even versus it just only be on his last two clicks. He needs some Something other way to heal. Something for sustain, yeah. Some other way to heal. Because man, it's tough yeah. to keep him going after I, he takes The more I'm hit. looking at this dial, the more I'm really not liking either of them because like 225 feels like yeah you're paying 225 I don't mind 225 because you do just delete something right away yeah you know if you if you hit 11 I like, for five i like that good because it's an 11 for five yeah. but i don't like at 225 it's only an 11 18 that's yeah. the eight, the 18 is just so rough it's on killer this guy. it's not it really it's sucks not good. that is yeah. and at 100 i mean he's like he's basically the rookie bystander. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like actually him not whatsoever at all. Off. No, I, like I. Yeah, um, I was bigger on this guy before really stopping and looking, but playing, I mean, playing him was if a reality you pull check. him, you're probably playing him because I don't know what else you're pulling. Yeah, I mean, he Apparently is just an hammer, uncommon. Uh, hammer, in my hammer, pack. Okay. Yeah, Hammer and uh, Quasar who will that get guy to looks and then bats. Dumb. Yeah, he's kind of <laughs> silly. Don't like his sculpt. But uh, I think that's our oh. uncommons, yeah? That is uncommons. Who is the standout uncommon for you guys? Mine's uh, leader. <laughs> I think it's Thanos for me. I really think that's pretty cool for uncommon. Yeah, I think Thanos is solid. Honestly, I think... Maybe Misty. Nice. I think Misty, Maybe yeah. The real, the I think realist. Misty's the one that, like, I, I don't want her to be my heavy hitter, obviously. <laughs> but even if she has to be, she's either a close combat expert, ranged combat expert, so she's not bad. No. But no, I think she's pretty solid utility that i want in sealed leaders really close the only thing he doesn't have is leadership which ironic yeah. it's in the name uh, <laughs> all right i'll go ahead and start off our rare dials Ah, oh, no okay that's fine uh, i'm gonna start <laughs> off our rare dials with militant i guess he has the hydra this is hydra captain america militant here he has 50 points. This is a really good 50 points. So I really like him. Real name Four Steve range. Rogers. Real name is actually... It <laughs> says unknown, but I think his name is like Carl Rogers. or something. Like, it's not Steve Rogers. Some totally different dude. So Hydra, Daryl. Hydra, yeah, he's a Daryl. Uh, he is the Hydra Assassin in Soldier Keywords. He is an 8, 11, 19, 3 top dial. For actually, for his first three clicks, that's charge, super strength, defend. 19 defend, guys, with 3 damage. Last three clicks, he goes on a flurry, precision strike, combat reflexes with just a two damage. He has that same Hydra 4 trait. We haven't talked about it in a while, so here's what it does. When a friendly character with the Hydra team ability is KO'd, you modify Militant's damage value by plus one until the end of your next turn. He has a trait, Hydra Super Soldier, which gives him leadership. When Militant uses it and succeeds, after resolutions, you may generate an Avenger 60th 004 Hydra Agent. It's there not, it is. It's not in addition. So it's in addition to. <laughs> it's not instead of. He also just gets We the finally got to the guy that makes the yeah, agents. It took us a while, but we're here. Yeah. Uh, he has a damage power called We Strike Together, which is power, move a friendly character with the Hydra team ability up to half its speed value. So... Even though Militant himself is actually just a really good attacker. I mean, a charge, super strength, 11 for 3 is great. 19 defend is really solid. He's a kind of a big team player here. He's a leadership, makes say, Hydra guys. I don't love this as a rare pull because it's, no, it's taking up that slot, but he does it, bring though. a lot of good stuff to a, a pull. Yeah, he yeah brings it's really a, cool. brings leadership. He brings uh, power, move somebody, potentially. A 19 defend is not... Anything to sneeze at? No. When yeah. probability control is limited, especially. So like, oh yeah, really good in that. If I were to pull, if I had Beyonder, I would love to have this guy at Beyonder. Oh, Give Beyonder no that nineteen kidding, defend, dude, you know, yeah. just a little bit better. And there. you have prob with him too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be really nice. But that's militant. Pretty simple. Simeon, yeah. you got to talk about the back half of the times dial cooler. is really solid. Too. It is really Ooh. solid. Yeah, the two damage. You're like, who cares? I have precision strike. I have flurry. Like, yeah, and I've got really good. Pretty yeah. big defense. You know what I you know what defense. I love about the Avengers and I think we should celebrate after 60 years of Avengers not being able to play them together. <laughs> yeah, this is quite So uh, well Division. Yeah, we <laughs> the Vision. ISO, ISO cap. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so this is the first of our, our many Avengers Primes, and this is yes. Captain America, Steve Rogers. He's got the Avengers team ability. Uh, he's got zero range but two lightning bolts. He is Ooh. 45 points with the Avengers, Howling Commandos, Invaders, Shield, Past, and Soldier keywords. Um, so he has an awesomely plain dial that is it. just charge the whole dial, just precision strike, combat, close combat expert, and toughness. So his stats go, uh, well, first he's six clicks long, I guess. Um, his stats go 8, 12, 19, 3 to 8, 12, 18, 3. And then he drops down to a 6 speed the rest of his dial, 11 attack the rest of his dial, 17 defense, and 3 damage. Well, it's 3 damage his whole dial. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's his whole dial. But 4 close. And then he has, uh, yeah. So between the Avengers and uh, his close combat expert, he is a 14 attack on his own top dial, which is pretty nuts. But uh, obviously, he's got some traits. He wouldn't be a prime if he didn't. So he's got Heart of the Avengers, Leadership, Willpower. When Captain America uses either and succeeds, after resolutions, you may heal one click on a friendly character that shares a keyword with him. Uh, that is not adjacent. That's just if there's a friendly keyword on the map and he rolled yeah. Leadership or Willpower, they get to heal. Wait a second. I thought Wasp was the heart of the Avengers. Nope. What the? What? That's only in Avengers Infinity. Two this hearts, is, actually. This is Avengers 60th, not Infinity. Uh, so that's in the future. Infinity. Uh, <laughs> the second trait is Captain America's shield, and that is knockback, energy shield deflection, period. And then uh, double slash. Range. All caps range. Range 4. Improved targeting adjacency. Uh, make a range attack. If Captain America made a close attack this turn, he may use this trait as free instead, which is really fun. Oh, that's cool. You man. can charge so cool. in with your 14 this. for 4. Yeah. And then, uh, dumb. yeah. And then you're potentially shooting as a 13 for 3 with precision strike with 4 range or just at the person that you hit already. So it's kind of like a pseudo flurry, potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you do have to hit this. the first attack, but you uh, have to, yeah. it should be easy. You would think. Yeah, that's some attack. crazy More than stats. More likely a 14 attack, you should probably hit. The, and you have precision strikes, so the, the super senses is one less. Yeah. So you should probably it's hit. true. I love this Captain America. This is like as close to a perfect cap. If the shield power was a little more shield balance and less, I punched. Oh, I guess I can also throw this now. That's cool, I guess. Yeah. Um, He's moving, you know, it's in transition. It's He's in transition. It's hopping little, over some bushes he doesn't have any improved movement he does, yeah he's got nothing yeah <laughs> but he, he'll he'll punch and then throw the shield i love that sorry you have the damage power yeah There's, sorry the third trait to get the to last trait is uh it's the whole quote no you move no um, do the whole quote oh you want me to do the, no, the, do the, the whole full kidding. page blurb yeah, of him like long... when everyone in the entire world says you're wrong and 12 billion people <laughs> say you're wrong captain america you say no i'm not I have over 500 confirmed kills. Is it that one? I have over 6 million power in Rise of Champions. I can't <laughs> possibly be right. It just turns into a commercial. <laughs> no, that's actually, I mean, that's paraphrasing pretty badly, but that's kind of what it is. Semi, it's yeah. like, you know. He only has 6 million power. Yeah. Uh, when it's not your turn, <laughs> friendly characters have immobile. And then slash slash, when it's your turn. When it's your turn, opposing characters can't use immobile. So good. So yeah. This also so thematic and yeah, flavorful and stand your ground, Avengers. Yeah. yeah. I like that you can't lot. get knocked back. Oppo opposing characters can't prevent themselves from being knocked back. Someone did pose the question though, if I'm playing this prime Captain America yeah. and someone else is playing this prime Captain America against each other, whose like no you move power takes priority? And it says when it's not your turn, friendly characters have immobile. So that gives you a mobile. And then on, on your turn, opposing characters can't use. Can't use can't. trumps can. Yeah. yeah. Can't so trumps can. having a mobile is a weaker variation than can't use a mobile. So ah. it gives you a mobile, but the wording can't. At least that's how it's someone's always been. Someone's going to move, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone's budget. So yeah. they had a big fight. No, you move. Potentially. They're like on the phone. They're on the phone going, no, you move. No, you. Stop. <laughs> hate that no i do uh obviously pulling a prime and sealed is great but this one is a very solid one to pull uh he's built for sealed very well his knockback his uh ability to make range attacks he's a 21 for range top dial yeah. 
leadership, willpower, ability to heal people. He just he does a lot for a team. He's gonna keep going and sealed you know? for forty five points. Yeah, yeah, he's insane. He he is really close to my like iconic like the Captain America. I think this is the closest like hero clicks whiskey has, has gotten. Is you toughness making, like, the power you give him? Honestly, I'm okay with toughness or invuln. Yeah, really. I, either one is fine with me. I think like um, one click of invuln, or maybe two. One click of invuln or two, and then toughness. The rest. Yeah, he's just when people give him impervious top down, like oh that's the shield. I'm like, yeah. Just, ESD is like oh you missed because he blocked it with the shield. That's yeah. the shield. The shield is not a yes. I tank a more or round. ESD yeah. and <laughs> combat reflexes. Yeah, like, yeah. Kind of like, something like that. But like. The impervious have never been a big fan of giving you. But, like, I think invuln is safe to say. I think so. And then, but, like, yeah. So, if you would have had top dial invuln and then the rest toughness, that would have been good. And then if you would have had a better shield bounce power and less say, I guess I can also throw it. This would I been really like dig the, that, though. It is, it, is, so it is good, cool. but it's not like a shield bounce yeah, it's, like it's ability not, that I would really want. You know, it's funny how they, they did a power, like a shield bounce with Hawkeye. This is such a... Side oh, the AI Hawkeye? Yeah, you that know, shoots the, around corners? Yeah. yeah. It's just like you could pick a square to shoot from and then shoot again. It's like, yep. why don't they just do that for Cap, that but like Cap. with six range instead of nine? Yeah. You this know? reminds me of like MCU Cap a lot. Like the boat scene where he's like, where he fights this Bad Rock. This is boat scene. Yeah, he, like, I agree. The yeah. Boat the guy. He like hits the guy so hard with the shield that he just like Kidding. flies off the yeah. boat. And then he like whips the shield and like makes another guy do a backflip because it hits him so hard. I'm like, that guy's dead. Both yeah, of them are dead. dead. Dude, they should each be decapitated. Yeah, man. like everyone in, on this boat is yeah. now dead. In that boat scene, the way they do the shield, it feels like it hits them so hard. But they oh, just yeah. kind of flop over. And I'm like, those guys should be like chest cavity indented. Like, like oh. he's serving a head on a platter. You yeah. can like, <laughs> your heart can stop if you get hit in the chest like too hard or like at the but wrong like second, and something. Cap is just like slamming a like solid like wall He's essentially a into their chest, metal disc at you. hard enough to throw like a two hundred pound man backwards. Like yeah, with, a, with like, a pointed edge, by the way. It's like a car edge. wrecking yeah, into you. Co. Yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, Crazy. You know what I'm about? Let's go to Falcon. Well, well, Samuel Thomas Boat Parts Wilson. Yeah, Mister Boat Parts. <laughs> oh, this is Carl. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, mm. we'll get on to that. We'll so we got Falcon. Later. The other one's Creel. Samuel Thomas. Yeah. Sam Wilson. Team Avengers. Range zero. Single target. 50 points. Keywords. Avengers soldier. He's got improved movement characters and a trait aerial extraction, which is very cool. He's got move. Move. After resolutions, you may choose a friendly <laughs> character that shares a keyword of Falcon oh, okay. that he moved through during this action. If you do, place that character adjacent to him. So this is great because it's not carrying, so somebody can act after he's done this. It's, he's got eight speed on his top click, so like they, bringing somebody into battle, they is took nasty. TK and they like brought it down so that it wouldn't be oppressive, and then they just keep like offering you ways around At it. At least they have like premium costs, like it's old true. time spinner yeah. Spider Man robot yeah, was forty. This guy's spinner. fifty. Yeah. He also has a move special, which is charge. When Falcon uses it, after resolutions, you may roll a d6 and move him up to half the result. That's pretty solid. A little Sky Tyrant Jr. And then a special defense for his entire dial, which is Energy Shield Toughness. So, first half of his dial, he's 8, 11, 18, 2. His next two clicks, he's 8, 10, 17, 2. He is special, blank, special, CCE. Back half of his dial, uh, he's 6, 11, 17, 2 for clicks 4, 5. On his last click, he is 610, 16, 2, and the power set you'll see there is Charge, Quake, Special, and Perplex. I honestly really like the, uh, this guy's trait. The I think Special is really, really I think solid. his trait is really good, and you can use it the way that it's like worded aerial extraction, like literally going up, grabbing somebody, bringing them back. Or you can. It's also moved through, so you can do a drive yeah. by and pick somebody Ooh, up. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I really think the potential for this, especially in sealed and on smaller maps, like just bringing somebody up and having them pop somebody, that's really good. I love I love this Falcon. He's like crazy fun to me. He's Probably really wouldn't cool. be my most preferred rare pull. Oh, no. no Absolutely. I'd have to have... He's a, actually probably like lower end. But he has either a very my, cool effect. My other booster would have to be some nutso thing, or I'd have to have a really good uncommon, like one of the yeah. two or three uncommons that we saw that pop off pretty hard. If you can get him a little partner to gun little with, little though, partner. Yeah. He'll, uh, he'll be pretty solid, though, and who knows, maybe uh, maybe this ability is good enough to merit some play, like with a fun combo and competitive. Ooh. 
All right. Next up, this is Carl. Tactical Force, a.k.a. Hydra Iron Man. <clears throat> Yeah, it, Carl here's got the Hydra team ability. He's got five range, two targets. He's 75 points. I actually do like him as your rare pick in Sealed a lot, actually. Um, yeah. Hydra Armor Assassin Scientist. He has that same Hydra 4 trait, which is, again, if Hydra character is KO'd, you modify your damage value, plus one to the end of your next turn. So kill those little Hydra dudes, and you're pretty solid. Uh, his trait, his second trait, excuse me, is the Hydra Power Armor, which gives him ESD. And then friendly characters within range and line of fire are considered adjacent to each other for the Hydra team ability. That's really good. Five range, five yeah. Five range, yeah. Dang. It's all about the Hydra TA. Uh, so what's he doing? His first three clicks are really solid. This is why I like him for a sealed pick. He has running shot, energy explosion with invincible and three damage on all those clicks with probability control. So he's your prob and sealed. He's got a little cool running shot power. He helps out with Hydra. He's got ESD. He's only a 17, but he's got Invincible, so it's reduced his pen, which means he. it took us to get like a rare to finally fully combat Bowman here. There's been other stuff that's affected Bowman, but I like this guy as a two-target shooty guy. He is Bowman-proof with Invincible top dial, which is super nice, and he has props, so I just like all of this. He has seven clicks of life. And after those first three clicks, he goes on to four clicks of sidestep, toughness, range combat expert, where he'll be an 11 for three the entire time. Keep in mind, he has ESD this time as well. So he has 18s for his first two clicks of toughness and then 19s on his last two clicks. So he's got some pretty high defense powers. But I just, man, for just a little side attacker, if you can fit two or three... Probably, yeah, if you can fit three or four like good just like attacker pieces on this team... Carl here fits having a prop piece, fits having a little bit of help with the extended Hydra range and everything, and then he's just a solid attacker, so if you can't fit like little cheap 20 point probs and all that stuff on your team, like a leader or something, he's just like a good attacker that also has prop, and then he has Invincible so he's not getting one shot very easily. I like, I like Tactical Force a lot in Sealed. Outside of Sealed, he's not great. But in a Hydra team, he's pretty fun. He adds yeah. a prob to it. I, I think that's, nice. yeah, probably the only place. That's it. He's just fun on Hydra. I mean, really, preferably yeah. you'd play him on a Hydra team no matter what. But in Sealed, he has to make do with what you can pull. Yeah. But I like I like him in Sealed. He's not a bad Sealed pull. So. No, I really like the high defense on his last clicks. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's cool. A 21 from range? Jeez. And uh, yeah, fills a lot of rolls. Simeon, since you talked about the last Prime Avenger, I think you should talk about this Prime Avenger Yeah, I think well. that's only fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about all the cool stuff and the robots. You guys handle everything. Else. Uh, cool so, stuff and robots. <laughs> uh, Captain America was a pretty simple dial, but this is Iron Man, Tony Stark. He has the Avengers team ability, five range, one lightning bolt, single point line, and that is 100 points. For 100 points, you'll get eight clicks of life, and it is a slightly wild dial. So, uh, clicks one through six are all running shot with the variation of precision strike for two clicks to Pulse Wave for two clicks, to Energy Explosion for two clicks. His last two clicks of his dial, um, click seven and eight, are Force Blast, Steel Energy, Regeneration, and Outwit. They went for that uh, kind of solid black dial there. Not really, because they mixed mur purple in. Um, but yeah, he's a flyer. His first two clicks, he also has Invincible with an 18 and 17, and then he's got Ranged Combat Expert for both of those. So, realistically, he's a 12 to a 13 attack on those two clicks for four damage. Pretty solid. Uh, on clicks three and four with that pulse wave, he also has outwit with three damage. And then clicks five and six, he gets energy explosion with perplex. And uh, for clicks four through six, he goes down from invincible to invulnerability with an 18, 17, 17, 17. But uh, pretty... It's okay dial for a 100-point range piece, like, just on its own. I don't think there's too much more you could really ask for. You're probably getting hit to Pulse Wave. You might not make it to Pulse Wave while you're there, but you're at least probably going to, you know, get one or two shots off with this guy, even if your opponent outguns you a little bit. But uh, you're playing him for his traits. That's why he's a prime. So uh, his first trait is the Avengers Financier. He's a fancier of finances mm. uh he's got leadership and willpower when nice. iron man uses either and succeeds after resolutions you may remove an action token from a friendly character that shares a keyword with him so similar to cap's healing somebody 
when he succeeds, this guy removes an action token. So pretty solid. His second trait is switching to offense mode. So this gives him traded energy shield deflection. When Iron Man makes a range attack, you may modify his attack plus two. If you do, until your next turn, Iron Man can't use energy shield deflection. So if you really want an attack to hit, you have a 14 attack with this guy. Pretty nuts. 14 for four uh, top dial or just a 14 pulse or yeah, potentially 14 pulse wave. Uh, pretty solid. And then his last trait is custom suits for my teammates. At the beginning of the game, give each other friendly character an armor token. Friendly characters with an armor token have flight, invulnerability, and when this character is dealt damage after resolutions, remove their armor token. That's so good. Each really, other that's friendly so character. Good. Everyone on my team what? gets flight invulnerability. There used to be a chase For called a limited Green time Light only. who could do something similar where he'd give like characters under 50 points got flight and toughness. And Iron Man here is just like every what? friendly character. <laughs> flight. Oh my invulnerability. A Maybe suit, a suit wave. for you. Have a you seen like, like there's like these old dumb cartoons when like the Civil War movie came out where it's like, yeah, this is my team and just everybody on it just he gave them all an Iron Man suit. Oh Captain yeah. Captain America's like, oh yeah, well, and then he gives them all like Captain America suits, but they're like nothing. They're just like red, white, right. and that's it. Versus like a tech. This is this is kind of dumb for yeah, like here, this you is, can look like a popsicle. Yeah, you can look really cool, <laughs> man. Bomb pop. Like bomb, yeah, bomb pop. <laughs> this is kind of uh, nuts. This also has an Iron Man that I've always wanted, where it's like. Jarvis, reroute all power to thrusters and, you know, attack mode. Switching it's like to no ESD, mode. you get plus two attack. Like, that's really cool. Um, this Iron Man's kind of nuts, dude. I like him. It's crazy. I mean, this one feels like, oh, yeah, this dude's a prime. He's, like, really good. Does kind of a little nutty thing, and he's a prime for it. And he, he feels like a prime. It's really cool. I think this will be really fun. I, like, I think... I who, like would his, you guys, uh, who would you guys give a suit to? My first answer is... Obviously, Scrappy Do. <laughs> oh, Scrap! So you can make Scrappy and Iron Do. It's literally give Scrap each other Iron friendly yeah. characters. So this guy could make a suit for Detective Windigo. Yeah, everyone on the team yeah. just gets yeah. one. It so they yeah, don't have to be standard. Characters. It could be your like if you have bystanders. Um, you know, well, Detective yeah, the the Iron yeah. Windigo. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's kind of nuts. That's, That's really cool, yeah. It's really what's, cool. What's Kazar's dog's name? Zabu. Oh, Zabu. Zabu. Zabu's got an infall. Iron Zabu. Iron Zabu. <laughs> yeah, this can get out of hand super fast. But just giving them all like a reduced by two. I will say... Iron Latvarian Peasants. Oh, oh gosh. My gosh. Iron <laughs> Invuln so and Flight. Crazy. <laughs> just the Latvarian Peasants guy. Fly. He's cool. No, he's I think he's... Iron Man, I really and think he's fun. This is probably... My favorite Iron Man they've ever made. I think he's so much more fun and constructed than he is in Sealed. Because I think in Sealed, you're doing like. The su- like for you're a doing a 14 attack for stars. four with Precision Strike. So, like, that's, that's a, your big thing for him. And then you're maybe doing the same with Pulse Wave. Uh, you know, he is making some big, heavy attacks. But I do think I'd prefer the cap over this one in Sealed. Just because of the in utility. sealed, giving your whole yeah, team flight is big time. So no. I think Cap that is has true. The Any sidestep now has sure. flight. Like yeah. your but. mobility goes through the roof with this guy. He also still has like the Avengers like leadership willpower. Yeah, you know? yeah. Instead he, of healing though, it's you move an action token. Yeah, right. still really good. Helps a ton with tempo. That's arguably it. better, I think. Yeah, yeah. It depends sure. on. The stage of the game, I think so blanket. Things, the, the game, yeah. Blanket, I think the removing an action token is better than it's, the healing. But the it's healing more really helpful more at uses. the beginning of the game for sure. Yeah, yeah it depends oh, on. Iron so cool though. He's really. I awesome. think he'd be. I think he's going to be a ton of fun in uh, construction. America. Yeah. Yeah. I think him and that oh, cap yeah, go yeah, that really good so together. Cool. If you can yeah. somehow yeah. pull those two as your rares, so oh, good. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Definitely wouldn't make anyone cry. Next up. Mr. Stephen Strange. Dr. Stephen Strange. Yeah, it was Mr. <laughs> yeah, well, it's... Third Marvel set in a row that we've gotten a Dr. Strange. Yeah, heck That's yeah. awesome. And this one is actually Yay. very unique and different. put a I like spell it. on you. <laughs> They've actually all been now pretty... you're mine. <laughs> They've actually all been pretty different, really. 32, Dr. Strange. 60 points. Four range. A single target. Don't love that. Keywords. Avengers, Defenders, Illuminati, Mystical. He is 10, 11, 18, 4... And he has the same power set for his first four clicks, which is special, special, super senses prob. Goes to 10, 11, 18, 3, 9, 10, 17, 3. Same thing on the next click. And then his last two clicks, he is 8, 10, 17, 2 with sidestep, psychic blast, ESD, 
and then uh, enhancement. And then his next six clicks are KOs. <laughs> his move special is okay. astral form. He's got phasing Some teleport. <laughs> uh, so yeah, phasing teleport. Free. Place Doctor Strange in a square of smoke terrain within range and line of fire. So that is four squares. Yeah. He has an attack special though. Mystical charms and shielding. Smoke cloud. Smoke cloud is free but only to generate two markers. Slash slash. Friendly characters occupying smoke terrain generated by Doctor Strange. Modify defense plus one. That's fantastic. Slash slash again. Opposing characters occupying smoke smoker terrain <laughs> generated by Doctor Strange. <laughs> Modify defense minus one. And lines of fire drawn to them can't be hindered. That is awesome. There's a typo that says smoker terrain. That's smoker terrain. You got me some smoker terrain. So yeah, bro. this guy is a a prob piece, which is always fantastic. Mystics, great. I think this might be the first time I actually power action smoke cloud with a figure. I mean, honestly, yeah. it gives you so much. Like, I would hate if smoke they changed smoke cloud to have all of that text, but it gives you so much good stuff. Yeah. Plus one defense for friendlies. Uh, I what dig is it? it. I think he's minus really one solid. defense for opposing characters. Yeah, and they can't be hindered, so you just plus normal get smoke cloud gives them stealth. a minus one attack when they're in it too. Ooh, so yeah, like, like he's uh he's really solid. Yeah. He's moving around for free. He's <laughs> making free smoke that benefit your team. He's prob. He's a flyer as well. This guy's fantastic 60 support. Points, man. And he's also just eleven for four, so he can he oh, can bring gosh, the pain yeah. train too. I think Doctor Strange, like this guy's a top standout dial. Rare. He is. He's a must-play rare. I think somebody so. really hard. At 60, I, I don't think there's any reason to not play him. I believe he was also on the winning build for the half Avengers, half Spider-Man sealed. I think, mm. I think, it, was, I think it was James Tilton. Yeah, it was James this. Tilton that won. Yep. I believe he had this on his team. So yeah, Doctor Strange is a must-play. A lot of utility. Can deal some damage himself. Check him out. Next up is Quay. I really don't like this Quasar. I'm just going to no. start off with that. I Hate really, him. I really dislike this guy. <laughs> uh, for 115 points, he's really overcosted. And why do I just know that off rip? It's because I pulled him in my booster. He was my rare, and I really didn't like this. So, anyways, oh Wendell Vaughn here is cosmic energy guardians team ability six range two targets 115 or 65 points, and it's all it's all pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. So. What's Wendell got? He's got running shots with a special attack power and impervious for his first three clicks. 115. Again, not good. That's Bowman territory right there, all right? 65 point line. He has four clicks left of life, and he's got ESD and invulnerability on those two clicks. Again, not super huge on all of that, but he's got ESD invul. Just keep that in mind. Next up, we have his teleportation and containment. This is a special attack power he has for his first five clicks of life. By the way, when he goes lower dial, he has like some RCE and then prob on his last two clicks with pulse wave. And then he's got like 65 points for four clicks. Phasing. Though. Yeah, it's so bad. Like he's just, is his point cost yeah. just bloated. That's that's the biggest with, problem. Yeah, 65 Wendell. points like, for four clicks of phasing. It's just bloated. And Mr. Doctor Strange, who also has phasing, is only 60. Twice the damage. Yep. Well, he is RCE. So he's an 11 for 3 versus an 11 for 4. Twice the but damage has, up but he has close. No prob. Yeah, okay, twice the fair. printed <laughs> damage. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. So Quasar has pen her second blast. When he attacks, after resolutions, you choose one for each hit opposing character. He has two bolts, so potentially two. Give that character an action token or place that qu character in a square adjacent to Quasar. So you can running shot pen Psy, and then also give him two tokens. I think this is just bloating his point cost an insane amount with the ability to pen Psy deal three damage that cuts through everything but invincible and then also hand out tokens maybe this can give you some crazy tempo advantage that i'm not aware of but for 115 points it is absolutely not worth it in seal i just no, i don't like it. he's not good in constructing give that either. character better an action to token place that character into a square adjacent to quasar who has tr like ESD yeah. bottom dial? Why would I want to put him next to my ESD piece, man? What? I'd, I'd want to move him further away. Yeah, I don't get um, it. It's bad. Dude, I just, Quasar's bad. I don't like him at all. I love him in the comics, and I think the Annihilators is a He's great like, cool. team. But, like, yeah. The Avengers Infinity one might just straight up be better. Than yeah, this dude. One. That's what I'm this, thinking, this yeah. So Which is insane, because that set is, like, what, five years old now? Six years? Yeah. 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 There's some of, it, some of it still held up okay. But yeah. All right. You're just getting all of Calder's face. I yeah. know. I'm so pissed. I get to oh. talk about 
Nimble's back, baby. Uh, screaming, maybe. 0 34 in the set. Melissa Joan Gold. Not Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, that's what I was about thought. to say. Uh, Sabrina. Uh, she's got the Masters of Evil team ability. Four range, one lightning bolt, 40 points. She's got the AIM, Martial Artist, Masters of Evil, Thunderbolts, and Celebrity Keywords. So she's got a single trait that is Nimble Wrestler, and it is legitimately almost word for word. The nimble yeah. power from WWE. It's free move up to one square. I wish you gave her a proof move. Doesn't have yeah. It doesn't yeah. have like the plus two breakaway or whatever nimble gave, but uh, it is still yeah. Just uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's a nod. Um, it, it's got to be. Yeah, she's got unlimited class wrestling as a special speed power. Her first two clicks, and that is leap climb and plasticity. So she's got leap climb. She's got the free move one. Uh, she has a special attack power. Her first three clicks with. Uh, her first two clicks, she's got six speed, I should say. And then her special attack power for her first three clicks with an 11 attack. And that's paired with her close or combat reflexes with 18s and then a 17 on click three. And then uh, she's got perplex those first three clicks as well with three damage of her first two clicks and two damage on her third click. Uh, that special attack power for her first three clicks, that is modulated notes. That gives her a pulse wave when Screaming Mimi, Screaming Mimi uses it. Choose Earthbound Neutralized or Battle Fury. Hit tar- hit characters can use the chosen power until your next turn. That would include like friendlies, so if, be like a decent way to pass out some Battle Fury if you wanted to. But uh, that's kind of cool. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's also just like she doesn't have a great way to get into the battle on her own to like do it, but. Uh, if your opponent is rocking like that Thanos with running shot, blah, 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 top dial, her just pulse waving him and giving him battle fury is pretty funny because then he can't make a ranged attack. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, I don't think she's got a lot of utility in sealed just because, I mean, other than like tying someone up with plasticity and a crazy high defense top dial. She is a perplex though. Yeah. Well, and if she perplexes herself, she's a 19 from range and a 21 from close, yeah. which pretty solid I like that. with plasticity. Uh, bottom dial, her last three clicks, she's got uh, Force Blast, and then her last two clicks, she's got Energy Explosion with Range Combat Expert and Super Senses. But yeah, I think outside of just being a tie-up piece, she's a very niche, interesting thing, and I think in uh, Constructed... Her pulse wave has something fun to do with that. Yeah. I don't know. And if I, they change Earthbound Neutralize, it might even be better. But who I knows? Think, uh, yeah, definitely a very interesting piece. Am I thrilled about pulling her if I get her in sealed? No. But is she like the absolute worst thing? Probably not either. I mean, she has really good stats for her point cost. Like She does. She's fantastic. Yeah, she's yeah, an 11 for 3. You just can't discount. You know, It can just be so clutch in the right situation. So and Yeah, Pulse Wave doesn't always have to be... Yeah. I mean, it's great to do damage and give out Earthbound Neutralized Battle Fury. Sometimes it's just great to end durations. Like, yeah, yes, if, huge. if you want to end the duration of someone's Perplex yeah, or Outwit. Fantastic. Like, you Pulse Wave somebody that used Outwit on one of your friendly characters, that Outwit's gone, like... I mean, they, they can still have it on their dial, but the duration of it's gone. So, yeah. Next up, we have War Machine, who this is an absolute must-own piece I love from the guy. set. There's no question about it. Uh, he is 95 points with the Shield TA. Six range, dual target. Keywords, he's rocking Avengers, Shield, Stark Industries, and Armor. Honestly, a decent amount of Stark Industries in the set. There is. Yeah. Uh, so, starting off, he is 8, 11, 18, 3. Uh, he has Running Shot for four clicks. He alternates between Pensai and Energy Explosion every two clicks for his full six-click dial. He's got four clicks of Defensive Specials, two clicks of Range Combat Expert, followed by four clicks of Enhancement, and then he ends with some Sidestep and some Invuln. So let's talk about the Defensive Special Suppressive Fire. He's got Invulnerability Super Senses. When an adjacent friendly character with the Armor and or Stark Industries keyword is attacked, the attacking character can't positively modify their combat values except range. Pretty solid. Uh, if you can manage to get some other Stark Industries people, not particularly good for sealed, but you know maybe that comes up with his trait, which is why he is a must-own figure. Uh, it is Watch Your Tail, Tony. Sideline active. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the Stark Industries keyword is damaged by an attack, 
After resolutions, you may generate War Machine from your sideline on click number four adjacent to that character. If War Machine started the game due to this trait, when he would take damage, instead remove him from the game and your opponent scores 10 points instead mm. of his full point value. Mm. So not only is he stopping your opponent from scoring big time if you do decide to bring him in, but he's also coming in on click four, which is 8, 10, 17, 3 with enhancement, running shot, energy explosion. And if they don't deal with him right then and there, like you have to deal with the suppressive fire trait, which will be in effect because you just called it in with the same keyword of Stark Industries. So um, a character who sees a little bit of play, I don't know, just a tiny just a bit. bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Uh, so Carrie and Iron Man. Yeah. Now yeah. not only does he get to bring in Scrappy-Doo when he dies, <laughs> but he also gets to bring in his buddy War Machine. When he gets hit. When he gets so hit. So Scrappy yeah. and Iron Doo. Dude, I love War Machine. I love He's this. This awesome. is a cool figure. And the fact that... He you seems a bit overcosted at 95. At 95, lie. like normally putting but on the, the board, trait, I agree. fantastic. Man, the fact that you just score only 10 points, you can probably, if you're you know smart, you can probably kill more than 10 points for the stuff, you know, with him. You have to get through super senses too. Like, you're oh, taking yeah. a little bit of a Invol risk. super senses. You're yeah. also getting a shield added to your team. So, like, yeah. I'm a really big fan of him. Uh, obviously, you will play this. Like, sideline space. Like, oh, what's on your sideline is dwindling unless you're playing stuff like. Imagine swap Jaspers and Imagine, Swap, yeah. blah, blah. So this is something you can easily fit in. I really you don't like have it. to have a reason to sideline anything. So my sideline's always been full. That's true. <laughs> since, since they changed that, That's my fair. my sideline has just been... Uh, Your cheerleaders? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. get to talk about my Six Etta candies. Yeah, I know. I finally get to talk about a robot. Yay! Uh, this Ultron I absolutely bodied and sealed. Beyond oh, really? Her, yeah, Beyond her came up and BAM! <laughs> just annihilated this Ultron. Beyonder, bam, Spider-Man, flurry, flurry. What's that? I'm in a hurry. That's my girl. Bam, bam, and like one turn to this. Bam, it was bam. It was Hurry's really awesome. the name bam. of one of the bystanders that Spider-Man oh, spits out. Spider yeah, yeah, also him. Um, but yeah, dude, I didn't totally one turn this guy, but I got him like down to regen super fast. I I really I annihilated this Ultron and sealed. But now let's let's look at him in a different light here, shall we? Ultron. Real name, believe it or not, Ultron. Not Ultron Pym either. He hates that guy. Team Masters of Evil, six range, two targets, 125 points or 75 points. You only get two more clicks for 125 points versus the 75. Where, they are, you, are, where are you seeing a five? It says 175 on here. So it says you're, you're saying 120. Oh, 120, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. You keep saying 125. So anyway, he's 125 points or 75 points. Uh, <laughs> Right, it's 125 points, Simeon? No, it's 125, 125 points? No, he, he is 120 points. Why? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea why. So an extra 45 points for two, <laughs> for two whole clicks of life. He starts off, first two clicks, exact same. So six speed sidestep, 12 attack, pen side, four damage, outwit, 18 defense with a special defense power. And he actually has this for his first four clicks of life. So we get these on his top two of his 75 point line two, which is Invincible Mastermind. All right, that's pretty dang good. Improved targeting, he shoots through, destroys blocking terrain. So blast through one square to shoot you. Pretty solid. And then he also has... So he has like six speed for an insanely long time. He also has it on his next two clicks. But he loses Pensai, he loses Outwit, and instead he has Energy Explosion and he has Perplex. And he also gets minus one to his defense, his damage, and his attack value. So there can be maybe a little bit of an argument made for top dial. We'll see. Mm, yeah. uh, and then his last four clicks, he goes on to some Steel Energy for those four. Uh... His next two is Charge, Invulnerability, Close Combat Expert, and then his very last two, it's Phase and Teleport, Regeneration, and Outwit again. Really wonky, eight-click long dial, but it's it's something. It's cool. He has Leadership Traded, and this is how you make those drones, finally. Uh, he succeeds on a 4 yeah, through no 6. Kidding. <laughs> when Ultron uses it, uh, you can also, you instead generate a drone. So you can remove a token and make a drone, but you instead generate a drone on a 4 through 6, which is, of course, really, really good. But yeah, I think in Sealed, if you can keep him top dial with that Mastermind, I think that sidestep, pen side, 12 for 4, outwit, double target is going to like kill a ton of stuff. I was going to say, I think... Um, you're only playing him at that top line if yeah, you have Mastermind you really, Fodder. Yeah, if you don't have Mastermind Fodder, have him as a tertiary attacker at 75 instead. A little bit of energy explosion, perplex. Still make himself a 12, but instead of being these big pen size, shoot through, annihilating people, it's just some little, uh, little energy explosions is all. 
but he's really cool. He's really neat. You I just, love the you sculpt. Just, you need Master mm. form. Yeah, it's that Phalanx Ultron. Yeah, it feels like a callback to Hammer of Thor. Who it does. Is so yeah. deserving of a legacy card. I know. I wish he would have got it. A 12 it. range on these tiny maps? Yeah. Give it to me. Please. Please. Charge, Please. He's charge, charge Pulse Wave. Pulse Wave. Yeah. The original Charge Pulse it's Wave. It's hilarious. Yeah, oh, it's before so Butcher funny. did it later on. Not yeah. Butcher, but some weird evil Superman also had Charge Pulse Wave later on in life. He's called... I forget. He's in Superman 1. Gosh. Uh, but anyways. Yeah. I really, uh, uh, this is Ultron. Really He's pretty cool. You just gotta get that match. Eradicator? Was it Eradicator? I don't know. It might have been. Um, it no, it wasn't Eradicator. It was like a beefy. It was like brutal or something. Oh. Like one of the Superman beef. Wonder Woman yeah. ones. Alright. Next up is the non-prime Hulk. It's a... Uh, wait, what? There's a Hulk A and a Hulk B? Is this not a Hydra one? Did it make a Hydra Hulk? No. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so this is... Yeah, 037A Hulk. Real name Bruce Banner. He's got the Avengers and Defenders team abilities. He comes in at 100 points with the Avengers, Defenders, and Brute keywords. Um, yeah, he's got a pretty beefy dial. We're going to do a uh, house. We're going to uh, talk about uh, his path of destruction trait, which is when he destroys one or more pieces of terrain after resolutions, you can heal him one click. And if a terrain, mar- if a terrain marker. If it was a terrain marker that he destroyed, you roll a d6 and heal him half the result instead. And then his second trait is gamma powered, and that's willpower. And then Hulk's defense powers have protected outwit. So all of his defense powers, which uh, I'll just go over those real quick. He's got invincible for his first three clicks with an 18. Then he goes to a 19 impervious for his next three clicks. And then he ends on some 18s with invuln, and his last click is a 17 invuln. This looks pretty pretty reminiscent of the uh, Red She Hulk dial. It it is with like yeah, the ending on leap climb and battle fairies. Yeah, yeah, just a little swapped around. Yeah, his dial is uh, nine clicks long. He has a uh, charge top dial for his first five clicks. Starts with some six speed and then moves on on clicks four and five to eight speed. He has twelve attack top dial on his first two clicks with close combat expert and four damage on his top click. He has close combat expert for his first five clicks. Uh, yeah, 11 attack with Quake for clicks three through five. And then he gets a flurry on clicks seven, uh, six and seven with 11 attack and four and five damage respectively on those clicks. Ends with 10 attack, four and three damage on his last two clicks. He's kind of a wonky dial, but he hits really hard everywhere at on his yeah. dial. And he'll be All hard to take down. Destroys too. blocking, heals, picking stuff up. If he's just running through stuff, yeah. or if he gets up on points and you want to play like a loser and start running away, he's great at doing that too. Yeah. yeah. Sadly. He's not quite as great as uh, the next one. I like that gamma power trait, and I like that it's like a shared trait that they're handing out. Yeah. That's really cool. Willpower and protect. It makes sense. Defenses yeah. that are protected out with, with willpower. Top dial though, man. He's thirteen he's for nasty. five plus the Avengers. So plus maybe an a object. There's gonna be so many characters that hit a fourteen attack on their own in yeah. this set. It's insane. I love it. I I really like this Hulk. I think he's an auto play. The next one, the Prime Hulk. We actually shot a video for him earlier today, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, he is Avengers and Defenders. Bruce. Banner? Bruce Banner question mark for a real name? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, his point values are 90 and 10. So you can play him for 10 points on his last click. Ooh. Very interesting. Keywords. Avengers, Defenders, Brute, Monster. So if you play him at 10, you get 8, 10, 17, 3, Leap, Climb, Quake, Toughness, and that's it. Nothing else. No. <laughs> he does a lot more. Uh, but very quickly, we'll go over the 90-point dial. So he starts off, he's 8, 12, 19, 4 with Charge, Super Strength, Invincible, and Close Combat Expert. He has CCE his entire dial, except for the last two clicks. Invincible for the first three, Invuln for the next four, and then Toughness on his last two. Full dial of Super Strength, except for Quake on his last quick. That is weird. It is strange. uh, Charge is full dial, except for the last two clicks. He has Leap Climb. So... Yeah, this guy is also just a brick house for 90 points. He's going to really be hurting. But he also has a trait. Smash. If Hulk started the game on his red red starting line, so that last click for 10, he may only heal from his Path of Destruction trait, and when he does, he may heal past his starting line. 
So this Hulk also has the Path of Destruction, so if he's moving through stuff, he's healing. If he's moving through Terrain Marker, he's healing a lot. He also has Gamma Powered, which is Willpower slash Slash. Hulk's defense powers have Protected Outwit, so that's honestly really nice, having the top dial Invincible. I think in Sealed, I'm probably playing him at 90. I'd have to yeah. pull some crazy stuff to no, I, make the argument. I think yeah. 90 is the right call in Sealed, because... Yeah, I, just, I mean, there's I, not a lot of stuff that has, like, support and whatever else in this set. Like, anything to, like, help heal him. But you play him at 90 and you can help him. Well, he, he can only heal from breaking stuff. If you play him at 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you play it. That's what I'm saying. Like, in Seal, oh, I'd I play him saying, at yeah. 90 so that I can potentially heal him other ways. He's Even a, then. Uh, incredible. I think he's a great sealed play. I also think that this guy is way better than people are giving him credit for. I think a lot of people are treating this like a gimmick, so I want to get out and say that I think this Hulk is going to see a ton of play competitively. Yeah, I think a 14 for 5. For 10 points! Just like on his own, yeah. or a 14 for 6 if he picks up like yeah. an object and hits someone with it. And there are tricks to get him to click one on the first turn. If you guys want to learn more about that, you can check out the video that we'll be posting later this week uh, where we talk about a team where you're able to do that. And seriously, thinking about playing this guy top dial by turn two, I mean, it's just unreal. Like, your opponent has to deal with that, and when they do, they, they get, only get 10. ten points. Yeah. And if they don't deal with him or if they expend resources into him just to, like, limit him... Congratulations, that's a fantastic 10 points. Thank goodness this is a prime. Yeah, oh my gosh. So if they, this, if they this made this like... This is go on roids. Yeah, if they made, I was going to say, if they made this uh, easier to pop off and it wasn't like unique or a prime, yeesh. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be spooky. Okay, this is going to be Abomination, a.k.a. Emil Blonsky. Scott Porter pulled him on his very last day of the unboxing, so we did see him a little while ago. It was pretty fun. Team ability is Masters of Evil. He clocks in, of course, at 125 points, 90 points, or 60. I'm kidding. He clocks in at 120 <laughs> points, 90 I'm points, I'm concerned. 60 points. I'm concerned that it's, your brain just, puts just, fives in it places. Just, it just goes down. Trust me. I put a lot of fives in a lot of places. They shouldn't have been. Uh, <laughs> don't know what that means. Anyways, it goes down by 30 points each time. So if you start off with the five clicks at 60, plus 30 points gets you two more clicks. Another 30 points gets you two more clicks all the way up to 120. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of a cool thing, I suppose, if you ask me. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, what's he do? Improved movement, destroys blocking terrain, he moves through it. He only has an 8 speed as his highest for his first two lines. Then he goes on a 6 speed on a 60 point line. He has aim, masters of evil, brute, and monster. 11 attack almost his entire dial except his last two clicks. And then he also has close combat expert his entire dial with a 4 damage on each starting line, which I really like. So that means he's always a 12 for 5 no matter what starting line you have him at. So you can kind of argue which ones are the better ones to have him at. Uh, he also has Impervious for his first three clicks, so only on that first starting line. Invuln, the rest of his dial, except for his last two clicks, he has Regeneration. Now, his, he's got three traits, so we'll just get rid of the Gamma-powered one. We know this one. Gives him Willpower. His defense power is printed out with. All right, pretty cool. He also has the Path of Destruction, which we went over a bunch, which is when he destroys one or more pieces of terrain after resolutions, you can heal him one click. If it's terrain marker, roll a d6, heal him half the result instead. Okay, we know that one. So what is special about A-Bomb here? He has Spiked uh, Carapace, I think is probably how to say that. Pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, when Abomination is hit with a close attack, after resolutions, you roll a d6. On a 5 or 6, deal the attacker 1 penetrating damage. I would have liked to see this be a 50-50, since it is only when he's hit with a close, and it's just a chance to deal it's them 1 pen. Worse like, Mystics? It's yeah. way worse Mystics. So, like... As a trait, yeah. For being 120 points, I get that the other power is really good and he can heal and deal damage. I, I mean, make this at least a 50-50. It's his only special thing. He's also kind of easy to hit. He's I was going to say, like, for most of his dial. he does have protected out whip, but he's not, like, reducing pen. And yeah. top dial, he's just a 17 impervious. So, like, yeah, you can't outwit it, but yeah. gosh, that's not that hard to hit. And, and compared to the Hulks we just looked at... Yeah, for this less guy's points. falling a little Dude, flat. Bowman, At 60, though. Bowman, Bowman takes away all of your points right away Ooh, on this guy. I got yeah. your number. I'm the Bowman. Bowman. <laughs> he, just, he just messes you up. It really, it really stinks. I like that he's a 12 for 5. So, like, right away, if you want to just play him at 60 and sealed, get a big shot off, boom, 12 for 5. That's pretty awesome. With the super strength. 
And I think the argument is only between 60 or 120. I think 60 is where I'm at. I yeah. think 60 is probably the best. I agree. I, that's where I like it the most. That six speed is so rough, but even when you think about it, that's only one square less per charge versus his eight speed. Yeah. So I don't hate it. I think sixty is just where he's at, and if he dies, six same damage. amount of damage output. I know, same attack, same attack, yeah. same damage. I was gonna same say, defense value. there's no way. Yeah, ninety two at sixty would definitely yeah. beat up the one. I think ninety is the worst one. I don't think you ever want Quake. I think you'd rather no. have super strength over Quake. So it'd only be sixty and one twenty, but you're not gonna pay an extra sixty points for those two. Those I four think, clicks. I think it really comes down to what else you pull in your boosters. I mean, I know we've I've probably true. said that a lot. That's so true. If you have the ability to like heal him up, you know, have we seen any support? No, none no. in this entire not, show, right? not in the main set, yeah. No. Not in the curve. Okay. Not in the meat and taters of this set. You meat know? and taters, no. The the what makes the meal pert. I was gonna say we, yep. we did see a legacy part. card with a, a supportive squirrel that we'll talk about later. Oh Ooh. yes, yes, yes. But uh, yeah, this yeah. is this a bomb. It's cool. We got another a bomb after forever. Yeah. Although we're probably gonna get. I one do in the wish next he phase. had the same as yeah, that. Like it's probably true. You know, if they put that like same ability that the Prime Hulk has, but they like gave that to him on his sixty point line, I don't think he'd be Whoa. better than the Hulk, but I no. think he'd be playable. I, um, I agree with that. That would have been really nice for him. I just think that 17 top for 120 points. I know. Like, where is all that point cost I going? Get, I don't get it either. Jeez. This feels like an additional split on the dial just to do an additional split yeah. on the dial. Yeah. I feel like that top dial could have been, like, maybe 100. Yeah. Maybe, like, the top dial could be 90, and I'd still be like, yeah, maybe. Like, yeah. look at the I, Hulk I mean, I think I'd pay an In extra 30 world? for four, but... In what world is this 100... Yeah. And this is 90, 17 impervious. Yeah, that Hulk is a third, like just a printed 12 for 4. Goes to 19 but he for ends up at a 13 for 5, two. potentially a 14 for 5. Where the heck? Just defensively, like, this guy's a joke. Yeah. yeah. This guy will get laughed off the stage by Mr. <laughs> Hulk. So yeah. that's uh, that's A Bomb, and therefore that's our last rare. So, guys, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to have the super rares, chases. Legacy cards, all the fun, just the rest of the set. The pizzazz. Yeah, so let us know if you guys enjoyed this episode. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment section in the comment below. This is, of course, on the video version on YouTube, which is really cool. So if you guys enjoyed that, no no cameras. You don't get to see all our beautiful faces. We have kind of a strange the setup right people, now. So the beautiful people. The beautiful people. All the beautiful people. My computer has moved. Yeah, Too much. computer is finally, <laughs> finally back where it belongs. Back home. Not, not in the <laughs> living room in front of our Wizard of Oz green screen and everything. So... That is Avenger 60th. Let us know what, how you feel about the cha- or sorry, yikes. How you feel about the commons, uncommons, and the rares, guys. Well, how like do you them. guys feel about it? How do, oh, overall, how do we feel? We usually save our total final thoughts for the end end no, episode. Sure. I will but say. But for just the cur, I yeah. like it for a sealed set. It looks I like it's really yeah, do. It's what we've looked at tonight, like I haven't played. Calder has more experience. Yeah, but I haven't either. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, this is going to be a fun sealed set I think for it's sure. Really fun. It seems like it. Oh, you know. that's right. A bomb's only a rare. I was looking at it like he was a super. Oh, a super. Yeah. That serious? doesn't make me hate it as much. I okay. still hate it. I still don't like it. He's I still don't so think it's rough, good. Man. But He's so rough. I when was Hulk for some reason thinking it was a super. Points. Yeah. I don't know why he doesn't have intelligentsia. Also, hmm. you know what I mean. He, he dumb. But he works with the he, leader. He though. dumb. See abomination. <laughs> yeah. Mm, abomination. I think. I think the commons in this set are fantastic. Yeah. The uncommons have some real standouts. But yeah. The rares, uh, it really seems polarizing. It seems like some of the rares are just garbage, and the other yeah. ones are really solid. Yeah. If seems you're like getting it's... Quasar, which, sorry, Rip Calder. Yeah, dude, that sucks. Right. I hated it. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's tough. If, if, you, you, if you pull like, A-bomb instead of oh, either of the Hulks. Meanwhile, if you get something like Yeesh. Doctor Strange, if you get something like Hulk, if you get that tactical force. You're messing people up. Like, Gosh. you just have such an advantage. So the rares feel a bit polarizing. But overall, you know, that doesn't make or break But I it. think that's balanced by that's the okay. fact that it's the okay. Uncommons have Thanos. The Uncommons have some standouts. Some yeah. Like heavy hitters in the Uncommons And section. great support there. And the Commons are seriously I like, mean, how many times have we just mentioned for this Bowman? Yeah. 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 Bowman's insane. Bowman insane. has this entire set. Bowman. Number. Oh, he does. He's yeah. Bowman. He coming for you. Bowman. So, yeah, like... I think it's a really balanced seal set. There's a cra- there's crazy power scaling. This feels like certainly better than you, Spider-Man. You know how? Oh yeah, Spider-Man I, was just roll a d6. Rally, <laughs> half the time rally, you win, half the time rally, you super don't. senses rally, super senses rally, super senses. That was like his Spider-Man. I'm looking curve. forward to it for sure. Yeah. So I think this is a good cur to buy. If you're an Avengers fan, of course you're yeah, gonna probably buy a obviously. bunch of this cur. 
But I think there's so much that works with other team building. That Scarlet Witch, that leader, mm. uh, the Misty Knight. There's so much like fun cur that you can I, surround that's, with. Seriously, I think that might be my favorite thing in the set so far is the detective cheating. Yeah, that's really it's fun. It's so cool. I like it. I I'm going to be playing that with Martian Manhunter. Thing. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. I'm going to be bringing some wacky detectives around. Some yeah. of the dumbest people I, I mean, can think of. Someone like with Amet's tomb, someone's like, Try Sentinel, you're on the case. <laughs> you know, he already had Mystical, yeah. <laughs> but like, or uh, a Wrecker, you're on the case. Here's you know? a Fedora. Yeah. 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 Or yeah, what? now record. Oh, fedora notepad record. Here yeah. you go. You're on the case. And a, a trench coat with three or six sleeves, Tri Sentinel. <laughs> yeah, here you go, man. How many are? He has six arms. He has six right? arms. Yeah. He's Tri. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a really cool It's a really cool set. I like. Detective I like Dark Phoenix? With what? You, gross. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Her trench coat would burn up. She's yeah, she can't be a detective. She can't. No. She, just can't. she doesn't have what it takes. Not like that. <laughs> detective Galactus? Obviously, he's yeah. on board. How, how long should the episode keep going? With we should we should stop just saying random. Give me as okay. A you guys have to give me your best detectives though. Best detectives? Yeah, who's the best detective I to bring on? Records like a solid detective. Bring on. I don't love detective. Records, Come on, bro. give me something. Oh, so, <sighs> give me something with some flavor. Something that'll make me go. Ooh, that's that's tasty. That's spicy. Detective Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> uh, there you go. Eddie you want some Latino it. heat? You said spicy. I like oh. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That Dete- was so good. Detecty? dude, destroyers on the case. Destroyers, yeah, de- <laughs> de- 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 destroyer. destroyer there was the there was the uh, Thor core destroyer that oh, had yeah. cracked the so case or whatever. There's, so there's, there's our crack. The case I don't know if they destroyer. gave them detective. I think they gave them all police. Mm. They yeah. got police. Yeah, Man. you're right. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, missed opportunity. Detective Groot. He's with Detective Groot. <laughs> He's on the case. He's walking. Detective words. Eternity. He already has detective. Yeah, he gets it. He's already the best detective. detective. Scott okay, Porter. No, yeah, he's I've the same. Eternity is the same power level as Scott Porter when it comes to keywords. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> that power bomb, sense. you know. That makes sense. crazy. It's ridiculous. But all right, guys. That is Dial H Hero Books. And if you want to pre-order some Ooh. Avengers Forever oh. stuff, yeah, yeah, you should go? check out CoolStuffInc.com where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products, which this is. It's still on pre-order. Uh, they have not even done the pre-release events yet. That might yeah. be coming up, but uh, it says early June for a release on this, right? Yeah, so it'll be late May. For yeah, pre-release. for pre-release. So it'll still be a while. Gives you plenty of time to pre-order or look at all the other goodies that they actually have in stock right now. And if you don't want to use Cool Stuff Inc., then you can go to shop.wizkids.com and you can use code. Dial H10 to get 10% off your Heroclix orders there. So, and I, two are options. They, are they still doing the, if you get a brick of this, you get a 10 million BC Phoenix as well? Uh, Warp World, I think. Warp, it, oh, is it Warp is World? Is it Warp World? Oh, it was Warp, BC. Warp World's even better. Warp World's, yeah, better. She's That's sold great. out super I mean, fast. Let me double check real I couldn't remember if like, it was BC Phoenix or Warp World Phoenix. I, I, I really couldn't yeah. remember at all. Uh, but, chop. We'll have to see. Dot yeah, we're not dot stalling com. for time. Hey, Ian, what are some other cool detectives? I would like to make Howard the Duck Some other detective. cool detectives? Howard the Duck is I'm detective. glad you asked. He's a PI. He should have gotten the detective keyword, but they never give it to him. Yeah, you've heard of Doctor Doom. How about Detective Dude, Doom? Dude, how funny would be Silver Surfer? He's detective, detective Silver Surfer. He's got a little, little yeah, fedora. Guys, you have to realize that if you give them the detective keyword, you have to like sculpt a fedora yes. onto them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you should paint uh, Deep Cut Silver Surfer <laughs> as a detective. Deep Cut Silver Surfer? Not so much human in love torch. with him being as a, oh human duh of course detective deep cuts detective deep cuts <laughs> torch is on the case ladies and gentlemen hmm. all I can see is the the notorious promo one that's so uh, maybe the phoenix Batman like Jaro maybe that whole phoenix that might have been a for like Spider Man for some reason no I thought I really thought it was for Avengers six I don't yeah I don't maybe see anything maybe it was only for like two on the home page anymore for a while there but anyways. Uh, guys, thank you so much for listening to Dial H for Hero Clicks. If you want to join our Patreon and support everything we do, you can do so. You can follow the link in the description below of this podcast or YouTube video. It means a lot to us. You also get all sorts of cool tokens. Detective Dracula. Okay, stop. Okay, we're not. <laughs> all right, let's just stop. I was right the there. biggest fan of Detective Dracula. No, let's not. Please don't start. Who's the big fan of Detective Dracula here? I, don't oh, I just had to get that in there. Yeah. The best detective. Ian is like, you guys couldn't see it, but he's like grabbing his chair. He's like sweating. He's like, Detective Dracula! Yeah, like, because I'm the biggest Dracula fan. Oh, stop. He was, like, trying everything to hold it in. It See, was like, he's, like, trying to make fun of, like, being a fan of Dracula, so he's clearly not the biggest fan. Maybe Simeon is, <laughs> oh, but I know right. that Calder isn't. Okay, wow. 
I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to defend. I'm a gatekeeper. So I'm like, you fake yeah. Dracula fans? Yeah. I'm trying to no. keep away See, from you're Dracula. you're trying to leave the conversation. Name the top I'm 10 Draculas right now. I'm not right to leave the conversation. I know that we've been Name 10 Draculas. For like if, you're, three if you're a Dracula hours fan, name 10 Draculas. We're at two. We're two. We're two. Okay, close this out. 220. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to close this out. I'm doing the Patreon Dracula. If you're still listening. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero clicks. Help. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred instant deadpan humor. Over oh, they, six uh, people humor. think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. You absolute fools. Zimmy will be able to edit that out, I'm sure. That's cool because it's expensive. I'm gonna make Hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, wow, wow.